Hello, I'm Great Wizard Merlin, and yes, we are on time. Woo! <laughs> I cannot remember the last time we were actually on time. Make some fucking change! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, something terribly wrong is going to happen today. It only happened once. That is it. That is our one time of being on time for the year. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, we are back with D&D 5th edition. Um, we are session number 5. Whoa, whoa, who told you that? Well, I, I've been counting. Session 5 already. You can count! <laughs> I was about to say that! But yeah, <laughs> number 5. It's impressive, right? Mm-hmm. Don't know where the last four sessions have gone. Where have uh, we been here? Combat and roleplay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, yeah. You so, know, last... Typical session. things for D&D. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. We do tend to kill, you know, our few hours and almost no time, no time at all. Yeah, it's fairly impressive to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did we do last session? I got drunk. <laughs> no, 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 uh, no, no. You she got, got you drunk. <laughs> no, no, no. I got drunk. You got white girl wasted. Okay. <laughs> you got alcohol poisoning. No, no. Yep, yeah, that's right. Trailer park trash. Yeah. Macaria read a book. <laughs> it. You should have died by alcohol poisoning. He yes, okay. He should have died just by being able to fit the, the sheer volume of whatever liquid it was in his body. I mean, that too. Uh, I he should I have exploded <coughs> like a balloon. Yeah, I yeah, came yeah out his like, kidney should have exploded. I came out, what, what's her face from um, like uh, Charlie yeah. the Chocolate Factory? The one who blew up like a pile of mm. Oh yeah, right. that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just roll me down the street. <laughs> okay, I just like on, on, on the subject of um, of Charlie Chocolate Factory. Let's like, just like say fuck Grandpa Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, couldn't he? Yeah, couldn't even get out of bed to get a job. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, we got a golden ticket. Now my legs work. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I can dance like Fred fucking Astaire. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, side note. <laughs> so, as was conveniently and fairly succinctly summed up from last time. Our group spent a fair whack of the session getting pissed, you know, and reading books, respectively. Um, I'm getting ready to be able to cast bullets. <laughs> and then there was there was a lovely, lovely bit of role play last week, which helped to bring the characters together, <laughs> help them find a little bit more about each other, help you guys find out a little bit more about them, um, and help someone else maybe push a little bit further in their class. Distinction, shall we say? Mm. Oh yeah. So to cut to cut the uh, story a little bit short, so the group came together and made their way from a small village with goblin problems to deliver a message to the grand city of Obsidia. Message delivered and uh, taken in hand by the leadership there. They were then tested by some strong individuals. Overzealous in their, in their own, individuals. <laughs> overzealous strong individuals in their own manner. And they seem to have taken a shine to the group and have started helping to train <coughs> them a little bit ready for their uh, upcoming trials and tribulations, shall we say. Not long started with said training and the group have just spent the night, as I said, after, after their various days, um, well, just discussing, getting to know each other. They went to bed, they've each had thoughts and dreams of things gone by or things that they can't quite work out in, in initially because the message is garbled possibly who knows yeah. but everyone everyone comes to comes to morning everyone does their routines pops down to the library for books mm-hmm. pops down to breakfast food um not getting Dis- woken up by water this morning. Yep. Discusses, mm-hmm. not discusses. No one has a hangover this morning. Actually got up on time. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into after breakfast because breakfast largely isn't uh, an interesting affair this morning. Um, none of none of the uh, the lords actually turn up for breakfast this morning, mm. and they sort of turn up towards the end, uh, having said that they'd eaten considerably earlier than normal. Um, and been off to just ensure they were prepared. So where we're going to start off is with you. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh no. So, uh, um, you're Zach, in trouble. Zach has gathered the materials he needs to start some tinkering. Yep. He has the information in the book he needs. Yep. And potentially is ready to start his crafting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, just just after just after breakfast. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's time to get ready to try and make this pistol. Yeah, let's have a look. Um, I'll, I'll take out my, tink- my tinkerer's tools. Sorry, very quick question. What is the date today? When we first arrived in Obsidia, it was the 23rd of what? Octonia. Octonia. Um, so, yeah, it's the 23rd. Two days, so is it the 25th today? It is the 25th today, yes. Thank you very much. Sorry, before we kept going. It's all right, no. <coughs> right, so yeah, I will take out my tinkerer's tools and um, and, and, and start and, and um, like, you know, sorry, I've been wouldn't long... it be the 26th? Because <coughs> we had the night sleep when we were travelling, the night sleep at here, and then the the one he got drunk at, and Can then this the good night sleep. So it'd be the 26th. The night you guys got drunk was the same night you got beaten up mm-hmm. for the test. Yeah, but um, we'd already had one night's sleep before that while we were on the road. Because we took watches I and he couldn't it. figure out there was fox. No, no, that, that, that was all included. Next yeah, time, the we stuck yeah, fox. We arrived, yeah, we actually arrived in, mm-hmm. in that arrived obsidia. In obsidia on the 23rd. And then that night, you got beaten up, he got drunk. Mm-hmm. Then it was 24th right. was yesterday, and then obviously when you've done all your roleplay today, it's 25th. Okay. But yeah, so... Um, one of the one of the council hands uh, comes up to you and says, uh, "Excuse me, uh, my my lords, I've been instructed to take you to the uh, oh fucking forge Armory. work workshop workshop. <laughs> uh, I, I've been suggested that might be a better place for you to do uh, whatever it is that you're going to be doing mm-hmm. today. I think that's quite a good idea. Shall we? Have? Yeah, no, I've been thinking about uh, I've been thinking about the problem. Uh, I've got some." I've got some designs worked out for the trigger mechanism and the firewood mechanism. I think that will be the most uh, complicated parts. Uh, but basing it uh, on how my crossbow works and scaling it uh, appropriately, I, th- I think I think I got something. But uh, yeah, a yeah. start at least. Wait, Alison, right. time. Tell me all about it. I look forward to having a drink tonight. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. So, See you later. <laughs> the council hands uh, takes you to one of the ground floor rooms towards the edge of the castle. Mm-hmm. Uh, inside is functionally a workshop. There's an anvil, small forge, um, nothing massive but enough to kind of work with. Um, More for repair and maintenance rather than crafting. Yeah, my, minor crafting as well, maybe swords and things, but nothing nothing excessively big. Um, and there, there's enough extra sort of bits and pieces for you to, you know, supplement any anything you might be missing in any of your toolkits. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to make a tinker's <coughs> tinker's roll. Yep. Uh, based on the trigger that you've got, and I've been working on a little bit. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay, so that just goes oh, on my notification. Yeah. <coughs> so that just goes on my intelligence, I think, because tinker's not a skill per se. Yeah. It's so a, in, it's a feat. I'm yeah. In this particular feet. one, it will be intelligence. <coughs> yep. Eleven. Oh, do I get my proficiency bonus on that? You do. Th- you're Thirteen. Okay, so you've you've got a, a very a very some parts laid out, maybe. Yeah, you've got a very a very good working sort of trigger ma- trigger mechanism that you think you could quite easily uh, craft onto whatever it is he's going to be mm-hmm. making. So, based on the fact that uh, you are mm-hmm. aiding, and obviously mm-hmm. you've provided that, uh, you get to roll your first tinker. Yep. Um, this one you'll get to roll based on dex first. Okay. Um, and obviously with proficiency because you're now proficient in the tools. Yep. Uh, and you get advantage because he's assisting you. You get plus two based on his fairly good roll already. Oh, so nice. 20. Nice. Six. That's including plus two for me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, um, so the reason that one was dex based <laughs> is because for the first part, you're mainly assembling the bits and pieces you need. So obviously like making sure the barrel is formed right, um, yeah. there's not a lot of conscious thought to it. It's just making sure that you're careful about each piece. Yeah. As you're hammering hammering away and moulding the various pieces of metal using the heat from the forge as necessary, um, it's actually so well put together based on that roll that you even put a little bit of personal flair to it. Um, feel, feel free to put any kind of description into what you'd prefer it to look like when it's done. Uh, so. I'm going to put alongside all of the four suits of cards, mm-hmm. and I'm going, okay. to, I'm going to call it the gambit. The gambit, very nice. nice. Yeah. So yeah, so you actually do that um, with with a fair degree of ease, and you even manage to um, 
inlay it with a slightly darker metal so that you can actually see them a lot clearer on the barrel, uh -huh. which is fa fairly nice, and you think it's going to be a nice piece when you're done. Um, that actually takes you the better part of the morning. Right. Um, it gets through to lunch, uh, and one of the council hands actually says that they've been instructed to bring you guys some food. Oh, so well, they bring the food to the workshop for you, um, and you, you know, unless you have any reason you want to sort of pop off anywhere else. No, no, I'm um, just going to be sat there with, 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 with the jewellers loop in my no, eye no, no. And, and some needle files yep. and fettling away at something. Okay. And then for the second half of the day, if you can give me another uh, Tinker's Roll yourself, mm -hmm. again based on intelligence. Yeah, that's a good. Um, that'll be eight. Okay, you don't get any other pluses for this one. You'll still get advantage because it's assisting. Mm. But then for the for oh, the assembly sorry, and making sure it's, everything uh, is you know in the right place and put together, right? It's going yeah. a bit beyond um, my uh, my you can area. Roll based on intelligence, not dexterity this time, but again at advantage. Uh, <laughs> Twenty-two. Oh, very nice. <laughs> so with with very little issue and with his with his help, his you know his small hands actually helping to piece some of the bits together that you'd have had maybe a little bit of struggle with. But like trying to put it in front panel connectors when the heat shield's already on. Yeah, and let's say you manage to uh, you manage to effectively place this uh, gun together. So you manage to make the palm pistol, which is the light reload misfire one. Yep. Um, the minimum misfire being one. Yep. What you do manage to do is you manage to set it up and craft it in such a way that uh, using uh, using a bonus action once per short rest, you can free action. Reload it. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Not, not using anything else. But because because of the fantastic rolls. Yeah, one special rest free action reload. Now, Zach, such a, such a weapon is very dangerous. I should not have to tell you that. But the power and such such a thing is uh, it will be your responsibility. I hope you only use this uh, to protect. <laughs> the, I see like... uh, hope you will only use this to uh, to protect those in need and not for nefarious needs. Safety on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. All I can think of is now, you know, now, Zach. Yeah. With great power oh, comes great responsibility. Yeah. So functionally, other than that, it does still function as the standard palm pistol. Yep. Cool. Um, and obviously, it's got the the signature Zach flair that you're going to go for. I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm an uh, over-engineered gnomish trigger. <laughs> functionally, what you've done for that, the reason you can only do it once per short rest, is you've set it up in such a way that there's almost a, a hidden chamber where, with just a flip the final gambit. Exactly. There we go. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. Um, yeah, almost, almost with a flick of the thumb, you can actually put an extra shot with powder straight in, but you have to spend a couple of minutes might, putting it back together. Might be which isn't feasible. Might in be combat. a second barrel. Not no, quite a second barrel. No, almost a second barrel. That's, hard, that's maybe harder to um, access. Mm. Think like a reserve chamber. Mm. Yeah, almost. <clears throat> so that's it. You up through to the. Evening. Yeah, there used to be a model of of, uh, of six cylinder twelve shot revolver. Oh yeah. And the way it works is you actually stack rounds one behind the other with black powder, and that um, and so depending on on the rotation, it had two different it had uh, two different holes um, for um for the striking mechanism. For the, for the striking mechanism, yeah. Mm. So, so you can fire mm. so you can fire a six chamber uh, revolver twelve times. Only a small chance of uh, a premature detonation and explosion. But no, as long as you pack it too tight, you just get both fans going off at once. Did I take five shots? What did I, I take? Six. Six. <laughs> <laughs> you fired six, you great fat twat. Well, most of the time. Ah! Right. But I fucking reloaded! But <laughs> <laughs> also, most of the time, most of the revolver, you'd always have one left, you always keep one chamber empty. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. They're meant to be so that they accidentally go off. Yes. Yeah. That's the chamber you keep it on when you've got it in your pocket. Away. Because the, hammer would, the be, hammer would be resting on the round. Yeah, because if you accidentally pull the trigger, it's yeah. an empty we chamber. We discussed this when we played Call of Cthulhu. Yes. Yeah. yes, we did. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's fine. Oh. So, um, for the better part of, um, of your day, Macario, um, mm -hmm. you actually spend a lot of it doing uh, readings on magic on your own. Um, it, it appears that for whatever reason, uh, Lady Sire is preoccupied for the day. Um, you're not necessarily sure exactly what it is she's doing, but she she seems to be best occupied with something else that's going on. Okay, so I've been told to sit in the library and read on my own. <laughs> <laughs> However, will you cope? cope? I know. Is there is there anything else that you're going to want to be doing 
across the day, or are you going to pretty much spend time. most of it doing your reading <laughs> until the evening? Reading. <laughs> Very okay. happy, thank you. Okay, so then we'll pop across to you. Ah. So, Gartak appears uh, pretty much just <laughs> after after breakfast. Says, "Oh, right, you can't." No, no, no. Well, no. Get up! Be, <laughs> be warned, I'm feeling better this morning. Good, fantastic, <laughs> wonderful. So he takes you outside uh, into into one of the uh, side courtyards. It says, "Right, honestly, better than we had yesterday." <clears throat> so, calm, mm. center, focus your mind. Focus. <laughs> <laughs> And as, as you take a couple of moments, you begin to focus, you close your eyes for a moment, and as you close your eyes, a fist connects with your gut, and all of the air inside you just expels. And the second, oh. and literally the very second that you feel that every single drop of air is gone, you then feel an elbow connect with the side of your head. Oh. Which pretty much immediately puts you down. <laughs> Come on! Focus! Oh, you got rolled on. Oh, he's toying with me. <laughs> okay, go easy on your cut and get the net. Now, focus! <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, no, uh, well, okay. So we're gonna go with this. <clears throat> so I calm, yeah, so I calm myself for a second. You know, um, you know, and then, you know, uh, literally no sooner is a second gone past, like, you know, um, I go to explode, yeah, explode out of an attack, you know, throw a fist at him. Okay, so as, as, you, as you throw your fist at him, he quite literally catches it, twists your entire arm in a single movement, bringing you back, and then just chops you in the chest, slamming you back onto the ground. Say uncle. Mm. Oh. uncle. <laughs> Say hello to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so you better focus in a goblin. Oh. Oh. He's, he's, he's stepped, he's stepped stand. back five foot and lets you stand up. <clears throat> Yeah, this yeah, this one I'm gonna try yeah, I'm try and be a bit, a bit more sneaky with this one. So I'm gonna try and use my acrobatics to you know to basically you know um, get behind get behind him. Okay. Yeah, to, fro- yeah, to throw him off. Um, and no sooner have I done that, for, you know, throw a kick at him. Okay. Uh, so if you want to roll me your acrobatics. Ooh. And you fail. No, I did no, not. So that's a twenty-two. No, no, no. And you fail. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so um, once you've used acrobatics to get behind him, are you do are you fainting at all, or are you literally just trying to get him from behind? You know, um, actually, yeah, I'll faint. You know, I'll faint from there. Okay, so roll me a deception. <coughs> Ooh, no, okay. Uh, oh no, actually, this would be slight hand. Sorry. Mm. Um, uh, might not work so well. Ten. Mm. Wah, wah. Okay, so as as you as you do a fairly effective cartwheel to get yourself behind him, um, you you sort of. Take a bit of a second to right yourself as you as you go go to faint with a faint with a fist mm. and then try and bring your foot up. But that second you took to right yourself was a second too long. Mm. At which point he turns and as your foot comes in, he just punches you in the knee, and you 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 can feel it pop just 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 as he hits you. That's a career-ending wound. Yeah, not not, not like it broke or anything, but it, it's quite literally like when you crack your knuckle sort of thing. You feel your knee go. And you, oh, yeah, it's like, oh. And then as, as as your foot comes back down, he palm strikes you in the chest, which pushes you back five feet. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you know, I've got a nice try, but nothing. Okay, with Step it up, Buttercup. Uh, with that, you know, I get ang- you know, I get angry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. <clears throat> yeah, I get angry and I almost instinctively just throw a fist out even though I'm you know, I'm what, what from ten foot away? Uh, from five foot. You know, and you know, an extra five foot away from him. You know, so, you know, so I just fr- you know, throw, a, throw a fist out. You know, um, and with that, I'm going to manifest a power. Oh. Fist of unbroken air. Okay. Um, so I spend two, you know, so I end up spending two key points. Um, and then, and he makes a strength saving throw. But He'll be fine. against what? I don't know because <laughs> it didn't okay. actually save. So, uh, as a monk, it should have what it goes off of for your save. Yeah, I didn't actually see that unless it was something earlier that it says, oh yeah, any time there's a save, save and throw, you get yeah, basically, each class, if they need to make saves or if, they're, if they have spells or abilities, they have a particular stat that their saves go off of. 
Oh um, wait, hang on. Um, I've got my key. You know, my key saving throw. Do you reckon that would be it? Yeah, that would be it. Um, so, so DC eight plus pro, you know um, proficiency plus wisdom. So it's ten. That's correct. And that would be what all your saves are based on. Oh, okay. So he needs to be thirteen. He's fine. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, <clears throat> well, that's fine. At least, he, at least he takes half damage, but he doesn't get pushed back or not prone. Okay. And so that's 3d10 budgeting damage. Okay. Hopefully he at least goes, ow, bugger! <laughs> well, I'm hoping... Uh, oh, you did waffle. It's a big waffle. Yeah. Nice yeah, don't waffle. die with me, you'll still see me. We'll do it in favour of the yeah, favourite player, so <coughs> seven. You know, it's half. Okay. So you... You fist straight forward at him, and the air around almost seems to follow your fist and then just follow straight through, striking him square in the chest. At which point, he sort of looks down and goes, That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just did that. You did. He then steps five foot forward and smacks you straight in <laughs> the chest again. Uh, <laughs> and make a con save. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Whack! Seven? Knocked out. No, you're stunned. Uh, <laughs> <so> <coughs> yeah, he knocks you down. At which point, he then he then See, stops. Fist can be a verb. <laughs> he then stops. You got fist And yeah. waits waits for a few moments while you spend your next round sort of. When you get to the doctor's Did anybody get you can the number punch of someone's soul out their body? Horse cart. <laughs> punch someone's soul into another plane. Uh, my chest. <laughs> At which point, once 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 you sort of come back to it, he leans down, grabs the front of your clothing, and just lifts you back up to a standing position, claps you on the shoulder, goes, "Right, I've already beaten you up pretty pretty hard for the last thirty seconds." That was thirty so, seconds. Yeah. <coughs> Party. So let's take a let's take a few minutes break, and we'll get back to it. Try and try and throw a few more of those out. That's the kind of focus we're looking for. Mm, I'm gonna try. Mm. I can't. I'm out of key. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's fine. Resting restores key. At least I believe it does. Anyway. Mm. Uh, not sure if at your level yet. But again, you have to you have to double check what you've currently got. But most of your training uh, for the morning largely uh, follows that kind of routine, where. He takes fairly short bursts with you of maybe 30 seconds of beating the crap out of you, with you progressively sort of getting a bit quicker <laughs> with um, either defending, striking, or, you know, hardening up whenever he, uh, whenever he uses something like the, uh, you know, stunning strike mm. to not get stunned. And each time you realise that he's only taking 30 seconds because he doesn't want to kill you. <laughs> um, <laughs> And he this knows. dude did in 30 second increments or but, you'll die. But does he look like a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> he does. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he knows that you're going you're gonna to need to breathe between each one. <laughs> At which point, when the lunch comes around, he, he pulls uh, some food out of the pack that he brought along and you two eat together. It's fairly, it's fairly typically um, fairly bland food. Um, it's just some bread and butter and a bit of water. Um, it says... Save the heavy food for when we're done. <coughs> Good idea. <laughs> but then for for the afternoon, um, he he takes you up to the highest point of the castle, um, up onto the and throws you off. Now fly! <laughs> <laughs> now fly. <laughs> um, no. Yeah. What, what does that help you with the sun? You're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get in the castle. Um, and he and he comes up to the highest parapets and says to you, now. Sit on the edge of the parapet there, get into a meditative position, and breathe. At which point he goes to the opposite parapet from uh, opposite end of the parapet from you, and does exactly what he's just told you to do, and he sits up in a meditative stance, um, puts puts his hands together, and then starts to breathe. And very quickly, you can see that he's entered a Zen state of calm. I mean, he, he's almost gone in seconds after he's gotten to that point and you can just hear his completely rhythmic breathing. Oh, damn. 
Yeah, uh, he wasn't worth training. <laughs> 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 that was some that, super speedy zen right there. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's almost like he's up time to practice. Mm. In that it's case, I'm, good, you know, I'm you know, gonna you know, position myself you know, um, you know, and basically try and mimic, you know, try and mimic what he's doing. Okay. Um, he starts throwing pebbles at you. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, why didn't you dodge? <laughs> what I am going to do on, 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 is on, on, on. I'm going to ask you to roll me a charisma saving throw. Ooh. to see how well you can almost contain yourself mm. to actually meditate for the amount of time he's asking you to roll a one I dare you uh, <laughs> roll a no I dare you yeah. there was another one in there, there. Were two Don't ones. Fucking damn it. <laughs> so that's 12 <laughs> okay yeah so um, you, you, have, you have the odd sort of moment where something distracts you or the wind's like blowing a little bit harder at points and you mm. sort of lose your balance a little bit, or one one of the birds that sort of flies around, sits on the edges. You sort of stop, look over, see what it was, and then come back in. But I'll largely, you do, you. Yeah, <laughs> largely you do manage to uh, to meditate quite peacefully. Um, the times you do sort of look up, you notice that there's like two or three birds just quite happily just sat on Gartax's like shoulder and head and such, and he just barely seems to notice them. I call breakfast. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just in there, bird lands there, and yeah, bird land there. Like, Fuck off! I'm trying to zen. <laughs> well, if, if you'd have rolled a one, yeah, <laughs> <that's what I've laughs> um, but that again, that largely takes you through to your to your evening. Hi. So we'll go across to you. Hi. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> Everyone else heads off after breakfast to whatever sort of training seems to have been set aside for them or to whatever they've been asked to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and after a little bit of time, um, only sort of 15, 20 minutes or so, uh, Lord Lysander and Lady Sire both come to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lady Sire says, um, Lysander has said that we are to help you progress yourself today. Uh, he enlisted my help because he'd like to do it away from other people. Understandable. Uh, so if you'd like to come with us. Of course. So they lead you through uh, a few of the a few of the staircases upstairs um, and they go to one of the rooms which seems like a fairly nice room probably one of the nicer guest rooms mm. um probably reserved for you know important people of peeps. importance you know maybe serious visiting. political visitors yeah Vis- visiting uh, kings and queens of other yeah. kingdoms and you, and you go shows. in and there's there's i mean there is an exquisite four poster bed Ooh. silk sheets i mean it is it is nice um in my head i'm like i'm really doing this here at which okay. point um, Lady Sire starts to weave some magics together, which, if you have Arcana, you can attempt to roll. Or, you know, if you'd like to attempt to roll your Arcana. I'm a try. It's hard enough. Do 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 yeah, no, you're not playing. Yeah, do 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 uh, with a match, I didn't that much. But um, so as you're as as you're there and she's doing that, she takes uh, a full minute mm-hmm. and she conjures what looks like a magical door. At which point, she opens the door and then gestures to Lysander and yourself. Um, I go through the door. <laughs> so they, they let you step forward first, and you step in, and you've stepped into the foyer of what looks like a very nice mansion. Hmm. I mean, this is... I wonder what that is! <laughs> for, for want of a better term, this is magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mine's getting there! <laughs> it may... This is just meh. <laughs> yeah. So, it uh, it may or may not be a fairly magnificent mansion. Hmm. Um, while Sander steps in after you, as you're sort of admiring the uh, parallel stairs leading up somewhere higher up, the door between them made of uh, a fairly nice oak. Doors to the left and right of... Uh, Step up your mansion game. Dude. <laughs> what, what looked like obsidian for those, for the two oh, side doors. Dude. Um, 
And while Simon steps in, Sweet. says, "So, welcome to Morden Kynan's magnificent yes. mansion, or <laughs> in this case, Lady Gemini's magnificent mansion." Uh, at which point, she steps in afterwards uh, and says, "There's no need to pick it up. Anyone can learn it." Um, <laughs> As I'm just looking around, like. How did I get here? <laughs> um, based, based on your arcana roll, yeah. and now that you've stepped through, you, you think it's some kind of um, dimensional magic? Like, mm-hmm. it creates almost a, an, another plane? Something of the thought? But again, you... No clue. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. I think I'm not on the material plane anymore. Yeah, and based based on what Lysander just said, you're pretty sure it's probably Mordenkainen's Magnificent Mansion this time. But, you know. That's going to be so fun when I relay this to you. I went to this place, it was amazing! Is that a different dimension? <laughs> I was in a different dimension for today. <laughs> so, um, Lady Sire then begins to walk uh, towards one of the one of the obsidian doors, the one on the left. Mm-hmm. Uh, at which point, uh, Lysander follows and gestures for you to go along. Yep. And they, they walk down the corridor behind the door, and then into another room, which just seems like fairly a fairly spacious room probably 50 foot by 50 foot mm. um and there's there's nothing actually in there at all i mean it's an empty room mm-hmm. no windows no furniture no carpets nothing it's just nothing that can get destroyed and a door <laughs> at which point um Lassana says so from what i know of blood hunters they use Rituals of imbibement of a sort to gain a lot of their powers. Yes. And while I don't know much of their specific rituals, that tends to be something taught from Blood Hunter to Blood Hunter, mm-hmm. uh, I have some understanding of the basics. We are going to attempt one. Mm-hmm. You will need to lead your own uh, ritual of imbibement. So you will need to do any preparation that you, of setup that you need to do, but I'm going to aid with the environment itself. Okay. So at which point, um, from from his sort of bag that he takes off, he pulls out a uh, a gold jewel encrusted chalice. He places it down pretty much in the centre of the room. Uh, takes out his fairly large, what looks like ice sword. And it's the the whole sword actually. Now that you get a good look at it, now he's pulling it out. It looks like the entire thing is made of ice. There's no metal in its construction at all, from what you can see. Is he also willing to sacrifice? (laughs) 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 Does that look look familiar? (laughs) Yes, they're love. No, (laughs) you have never seen this kind of ice before. In fact, um, roll me a history check. <clears throat> number wang. Okay. Uh, Twenty-four so based, in total. Based that on is number one. the information that you have and the precious snippets that you do remember mm-hmm. and what you've read of uh, of the area, mm-hmm. you have an inkling. Mm-hmm. That this might be the legendary ice from Ice Heart Mountain. Thought as much. The reason you've never seen ice like this before is because from the stories and little bits you've read, most people haven't seen this ice before. Mm. Um, le- legend has it the last people who brought ice down that are known about was well over a thousand years ago. But you know, there could be people who have managed to get some and no one Kept knows. It hidden, yeah. But the last the last recorded was over a thousand years back. <coughs> which is why no one living that you're aware of has seen this stuff. Crack some off and put it in your drink. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna say that's probably what they use it for. No, last time I it's was that ice I uh, got pneumonia and almost died, so Maybe don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. Think how cold your drinks will be. So he, he then takes the sword mm-hmm. and cuts fairly deeply across his wrist. Mm-hmm. Uh, at, at which point he, he flexes, 
and clenches his fist and drains some blood to fill the chalice. Mm -hmm. At which point, um, takes it away, um, gives it a little bit of a sort of wipe. At which point, uh, Lady Gemini comes over and casts something and just disappears like it was never there. Yeah. Uh, he, he wipes the, the excess blood off the side of his sword, puts it away. And uh, right. you have the blood that you will need for your ritual. Mm -hmm. I confess, as I said, I don't know much more about performing them. So we will be here mainly for safety's sake. Yep. But. Thank you. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it yeah. largely to you to think about how you would want this to mm -hmm. start, how you feel like you begin this. Um, I will be putting in once you've started. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With respect, woo! Holds up the chance of blood. <laughs> I got a jar of blood. I got a if jar you, of you've blood. got any thoughts of maybe mm. circles that you'd want to draw, or if there's well, words you'd want to say. I'm not going to play circles in my own jar. I'm not going to play circles in my own jar. Hooked on a feeling. Do, 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 do. I'm high on believing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he the lead singer with the backups? <laughs> He's in the end. Yeah. Uh, God charge. privileges, yo. Um, yeah, so I had a thought about it. Um, I was thinking of starting off with the two rights that I currently know. Yep. To bring it into the third. But. Okay. I. Yeah, I may have forgotten to mention that I needed to grab something. Okay. Um, so. When, when you sort of mentioned you've forgotten something, mm. um, uh, like Sansa, uh, what, what is it that you think you might need? An animal. Preferably living. Uh, is it for sacrificial purposes? Yes. Oh, convenient. I just have to have a rabbit in this hat. Called <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Steve. What are you, you going to do with it? It's going to be weird, I hope. No, no, Francois. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, Francois, yeah. I'm going to kill it so I can use my, uh, <laughs> my right ability. Mm. Nice. Because the first right I have is the one where I hurt myself and I get cold on my blade. And then the second one I have, which is, uh, yeah, my fallen puppet thing. So the, a creature that has literally just died, I can bring it back to do a final attack. Mm. So you want okay. a turtle bone? Yes. Or a giant jellyfish? That wouldn't be very effective on land. Cause this is... <laughs> No, she has an obsession with giant jellyfish. Do that you, is irritating. Do your final attack as it twitches. Like a, lion, like a lion's mane. That's the most giant jellyfish. Well, I am going to be transforming into a lion, so... Rawr. I don't know. Rawr. Lizzie doesn't agree that but like transforming oneself into a giant jellyfish would be amazing. No! That would be pretty useless to me. Yeah, even in water, they don't move fast. They just kind of float. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be graceful. Give me just two seconds. Yeah, but they don't die immediately on land, so you can pick up like the blobby part of her and then throw her at people. <laughs> yeah, so you, just, so you just emerge on land and then speak at someone nearby. Throw me! <laughs> throw me! <laughs> Toss me! <laughs> okay, so, 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 Lysander um, says to you, is there a particular creature or type of creature that you would prefer or like? Um, not really. Anything that has a pulse. <laughs> Sorry, no context. So has a pulse. Undead. So not, not undead. undead. Yeah, that's a, uh, okay. okay. I think that's a real photo. So he looks... Sorry, one second. Great, now just giving her ideas for another boss in Thursday's campaign. <laughs> <laughs> he, look, he looks to me. Yes. Yeah, and she says, that is the biggest there is in the world. I believe I have something for this. Uh, yeah, it's true. It's definitely nice. Casting something else. Mm -hmm. There's another picture. If you want to roll Arcana, let me know if you get a natural twenty. <laughs> <Just couldn't laughs> otherwise, right? Let's see, shall we? Eh, no, close. Okay. So she Wasted begins. Wasted eighteen. She begins casting something else, which again takes about a minute, mm -hmm. and it 
this this weaves together some of the most complex magic you've ever seen. Oh damn! I mean, this this is well above anything you've ever seen. I mean, you've you've not even come close to seeing this kind of magic before. Oh damn! Um, might have covered spells, yeah. Mm. Um, but unfortunately, the only one she has that can do anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she begins weaving together this complicated magic. At which point, a badger appears. Badgers, you're funny. Oh, I don't found, know. Probably found in the English. Finally found the English channels so, in North Sea. Mm-hmm. She begins Irish weaving sea. this magic together. Mm-hmm. Yes. And but deep. Calls it forth, and this symbol appears. At which point, she she calls, bring forth a wog. Fucking wog. At which point, a wog, yeah, a full-on sort of direwolf, is dragged out of this massive gate. <clears throat> oh damn. I was thinking of bunny, but okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out of this yeah. massive gate. Sacrifice it! Come on, hurry up! In, I'm trying. In my head, I was like, I'm like, I was thinking of bunny, but all right. I've already stabbed it three times to the neck. It's still not dead. <laughs> this is the way you want to go. You've got to earn that shit. <laughs> mm, apparently, can I be a horse that I've had glue afterwards? At this point, Lysander, this meal. <laughs> Lysander and uh, Sire step back. Lysander picks up the blood-filled chalice so that mm-hmm. it doesn't get knocked over. And they both just step to the sides of the room. Mm-hmm. Which point? What we initiative? Yep. <laughs> it's fine, we brought you a puppy. That is not a puppy. See, I see the way it sort of escalated. You get to calmly put together your gun, you get Four. to read more, <laughs> I get beaten the shit out of, and you get... I have to kill a walk. <laughs> so... This, this panicked walk, mm. this, this panicked oh, walk, <laughs> then goes for you. Mm-hmm. Funnily enough. Uh, now I want to make another one. Yeah. Feels like I've had one baby. Now I want two. <laughs> uh, I had two hands, two guns. Does a seven hit you. No. Okay. So this walk lunges forward and snaps with its huge jaws, trying to catch onto your arm, and I- immediately you just move your arm straight out of the way. Mm-hmm. Ah. That nah. I'd walk. Okay. That nah. okay. <laughs> um, uh, uh, uh. just double checking. This is the narrator. He's certainly a derpy one. Mm-hmm. He's like one of those sarcastic caption tracks put in on YouTube videos. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. We had an aneurysm, Yeah, me. But at least it's not, you know, one of Lucy's derpy animals. They are so fucking derpy. Uh, derpy. derpy. Actually, yes, they're, 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 they're all derpy. <laughs> so, as a bonus action, I'm going to activate my uh, Crimson Right. Yep. Crimson Right, activate. Yeah. <clears throat> and then I'm going to try and attack the fucker. Go for it. That's where I've known that before. Number one. Yeah. Twenty-six. Yeah. Yeah. Fully fully that. Um. So yeah. So that is natural twenty. So roll all of your dice twice, including my right damage. Yeah. Any any rolled dice, you either roll twice the amount of dice, or you double what you get on the dice, and then you add your static bonuses after Mm -hmm. that. I'm just trying to remember what pot some of the dice are in. Because, you know, you has lots of dice. I don't have enough dice. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Never have enough dice. Mom. Never have enough dice. She is right. No, we can never have enough dice. This room could be filled with dice and we still want them. It still wouldn't No, be that enough. would actually be far too many. Yeah, how would you roll them? Yeah. We need to get out of the room and roll them in the corridor. Uh, someone hit him. 
Oh no, this is fun the other day that you could get a dice jail. So when your dice have disappointed you, you put them in jail oh. for a bit. <laughs> can we get one big enough for Merlin? <laughs> oh, no, can, can, Why do you want to put me in a jail? Can you reluck them with some sage smoke and the light? We the have talked about doing this, haven't we, Cassis? Doing a little ceremony to reluck our dice. We, the, have, we have some ideas. Take it down, down, down to the fairy ring so you can get reluckered. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Full moon. Yes. So with, with that one swing, you, you cut. You can wear robes. Mm-hmm. Into its its uh, its mm-hmm. front flank, yep. and with with that alone, you can see arterial blood just pouring out of its wound, nice. um, and it sort of limps a little bit and growls <sighs> at you. Uh, at which point, it lunges forward mm-hmm. uh, and tries to bite one more time with your typical, you know, cornered animal. Yep, cornered uh, wounded animal. Sixteen hit you. Yep. Cornered wounded animal. <laughs> Cornered wounding animal. I'm wounding. That does nine piercing damage to you. <laughs> and if you could please make me a strict saving throw. Say no. <clears throat> no, because then I'll automatically fail. Damn. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, we know you're bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that is 20, 21. Okay, yep. So as as it bites hard into your into your side, mm-hmm. you can feel it sort of lunging forward as it's bitten, almost trying to knock you over, but you dig your feet in and So it is it doesn't. currently still got my side in its mouth? Yeah, it's basically bitten onto your side and it's trying to basically twist you and push you down. Cool. But it's failing. Yep. Well that's what I yep. thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was that? If I miss this, I'm gonna <laughs> So Yes, look, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. What's that stabbing in my neck? <laughs> 20. Yeah, that hits. More damage. Hooray, she didn't roll well. Mm. So what are these for you gun then? No, she's yeah, rolling the rather some well some at the moment. Just, uh, oh, bayonet. Because there's someone between Pist- Pistol bayonets with it? Well, oh yeah, six they, and four they, they were more of a thing. Okay. I forgot to mention the cold before. Yeah. So with, with that, no, 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 you drive things. the sword as it's there, biting into your side, you drive the sword straight into its side and you think you hit its heart as the sword hits the ground through it. Nice. At which point it is dead. And then I'm going to rip my sword out, mm-hmm. put it away, and then bring it back. Okay. With my uh, puppet, uh, fallen puppet ability. Mm. Okay, yeah. So with, with that, no, bad, is um, <laughs> what is going to be the Bonds target away. of its attack? Me. Okay. So it gets it gets back up and lunges forward at you one more time. Uh, it's spin loaded, so you didn't even have to uh, do twenty will hit you, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it goes yeah. click. Mm. Seven oh, like piercing that. damage and mm-hmm. another strength saving throw. A rat tail flip lock. Different style of green. Mm. Oh, latch on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see it moving as if through muscle memory at this point. Yeah. Eighteen. Yep, that's enough. Uh, so it bites hard uh, this time onto your leg and tries to rip it forwards. Um, at which point you just move with it and yep. stance yourself so that you don't fall over. You fall over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, w- at which point the right power that you put in that's just a uh, dissipates <laughs> and the creature sort of goes limp and falls back to the ground dead again. Mm-hmm. And Lysander steps forward with, with the chalice. Pass it to you. Mm. Uh, yeah, no. Okay. Could you please roll me a constitution saving throw? Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay. Seriously? Is that another one? Yeah. 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 Number that's, one. that's my third one this session. Don't Must touch three. dice to no. curse. <laughs> so you I will stab you with a spoon. So you immediately take four fire damage mm-hmm. as you feel you feel it start to almost burn as it goes down. Mm-hmm. And as you're feeling it burn, it starts to spread, almost like you can feel fire starting, actual fire, not even just heat, but mm. fire running through your veins. Um, and you, it brings you to your knees mm-hmm. and the pain is unbearable. You start to see white lights behind your eyes yeah. as if someone had just cracked you in the back of the head with the biggest mace you've ever seen. And it, it, the pain just overwhelms you, and you, you start to lose track of what's happening. You start to 
to almost not see where you are. You, you start to have images of your brother's faces flash past your eyes. Um, want me another content? Seventeen. Okay, you take another two points of fire damage as it's still spreading through. Mm -hmm. And you don't know how long this is going on for. You you don't know whether you've been here seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks. It, it could be anything. You know, moments feel like hours, but maybe the hours are feeling like seconds. And everything is just completely catastrophically overwhelming mm -hmm. um, at some point you think you scream but you're not sure um, and then you hear a voice that almost takes you out of that endless pain and you faintly hear words saying it's not taking, there's something wrong maybe, maybe the imbibement isn't enough um, uh, at which point um you can't make out but you can hear a female voice you can't even make out what this female voice is saying and um, the, 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 the first voice male voice you, you, you hear it talking it's definitely talking to you is this what you want? you have to give me an answer is this what you want? it's a raspy voice because you know pain yes okay at which no. point, <laughs> I'm not sure, or we'll lock you in so, uh, at which point, you, you, you feel your arm move up. You're, you're not sure what's moving it. You can't even necessarily feel that. Then you feel a deep, sharp pain mm -hmm. right in your forearm, mm -hmm. and similar to the teeth you felt before when the warg was attacking you, there there is teeth sinking deep into your arm. Mm -hmm. uh, how many hit points have you currently got? Eleven. 11. It takes you down 8 of your hit points. And immediately you feel more burning, more pain. Not just, not just the pain of the, the teeth sinking into your arm, but again, almost more, almost lava at this point that's just coursing up from where the bite happened. After a few moments, after a few moments, it starts to lessen down to a yeah. severe throbbing. Mm -hmm. The heat. Guys, sorry. So we're talking, we're talking flip flops. Yeah. So yeah, I was trying to listen as well, okay. actually. But, um, while, while, the, while the throbbing is, is happening, you're, you're starting to regain your senses. The, the burning comes down to a warmth. The warmth starts to come down to a more normal temperature. Um, you can you almost start to feel the blood leaking down from your arm where you've just been bitten. You can feel wetness on your side where you were bitten before. Mm -hmm. And you feel how unbelievably sore your knees are. You think it might have been possibly both the impact of you falling and for however long you've been there, you don't know. Um, but you take a few moments and you open your eyes and Lysander and Saya are both there, looking concerned at you, but almost relieved. Um, you, you can you can see that um, Lysander sort of opened opened up his his coat. Um, maybe he was getting too warm. You don't know. Um, Saya has taken off her yeah, out, outer outer robe layer. Um, those have been deposited in the corner. There's what looks like uh, the remains of lunch in the corner. Um, so you think you may have been here for the better part of the day. Mm. And Lysan says to you, how do you feel? Warm. <clears throat> Not much different. My knees hurt. Yes, you, you have been there for some time now uh, there was there were points we were worried and it did seem that it wasn't taking okay. it seems that the imbibement wasn't strong enough and it needed to be abide I think I remember that I do apologise and you did seem to answer when 
well, after the fourth time I asked. Right. I think I remember that. It may take some time to get used to, but this is now as much your curse as mine. Thank you. Mm, you will not regret this. Drama number. <coughs> Bonuses I get? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double, it's like other piece of double edge. <laughs> I believe the price you've paid today and the injuries you've suffered, I believe those should stand until you rest rather than being immediately fixed. Nothing. As they will stand as a testament to what you've endured. Yeah. <laughs> At which point, uh, Sai says, Well, um, I don't know about you, but I'd quite like to go and get some uh, substantial food. I'm hungry. Uh, at which point, uh, she sort of heads through the door, and Lysander gestures after her. And you will make your way back out of the door. Once once uh, everyone stepped out, uh, Saya closes it and the magical door vanishes. And you're back in the guest room that you were previously. Mm -hmm. And you head down after looking out the window into the starting to get dark sky. You head down towards the evening meal, at which point everyone from their various days, however stressful or less than stressful that they've been. Each of you can need convenience for <laughs> your sorry, sorry. So you've got making gun, read my book, Carson's training, Curse's book. <laughs> sorry, I suppose it is more you know, interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, more dramatic, I suppose, is the best way of putting it. Hey, I was yeah. reading a book that could be dramatic. It was thrilling. Was, <laughs> there was drama in the story you were reading. We, we, were, oh. we were making a, mechanic, a, a mechanical no, no. agent of death. <laughs> it was a romance novel. She skived. There's, 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 oh, yeah. just this, there's just this moment of the camera just going, dun, 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 each time getting closer. And right up. <laughs> she's just reading a book. Yeah. <laughs> And then he, uh, she, uh, she unlaced his britches. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Is this like that? I'm gonna do an internet. I'm gonna do a book. Aww. <laughs> and, and he laid eyes upon her quivering mound, <laughs> her, heave, her heaving bosom. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, you know, porn novels aside. Aww. <laughs> it's erotic he, fiction. Verbal wank food. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, each of you finishes your day mm -hmm. that you've gone about, taking as long as you do, or as stressful as it may be, and you come to the dining hall. Uh, there are three tables laid out today instead of the usual one, uh, and there's quite a few of the castle hands all eating at once today, which seems a little bit, you know, different. As I'm walking in, still covered in my own blood. Yeah. Hmm. Rough day. Legitimate. Yeah. Mm. Say stable hands. Uh, castle hands. <coughs> I probably have some blood down here. Cause, you know, downing a goblet of blood in one is an easy feat. <laughs> probably some. I'll hold it's, up my handkerchief. Yeah, it's, 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 there's, there's probably a trickle what? out of one side. What's up? Oh. oh. <laughs> Whereas me, I just look generally battered and bruised. You're blue. <laughs> yeah. Black and blue. Yeah. You're, 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 you're sporting sporting a shiner of a black eye. So black and blue, red. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have a sheaf of sheet, sheet of papers, and my hands are still going to be sort of black from 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 from, mm. from work. From, or sort, <laughs> yeah. sort, of, sort of soot covered from filing and working with metal all day. Oh no, you have some ink stains on your fingers. No. Nope. Because face... mage hands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but what I will say is, based on based on how well the rolls overall went for the gun, um, there are the there are enough like, leftover yeah, pieces crank. that you think you could improve on your, um, uh, especially with the, the, the trigger mechanism you put on. You think you could improve your crossbow a little bit further now? Mm. Oh, 
you work on that tomorrow. I'll help yeah. you with that if you want. Mm, yes. And then we can work on second gun. Yeah. Based, based mm. on how efficient the rolls and how efficient the put together of that one was. Yeah. Montage. Montage. <laughs> so, um, with with um, with Cassandra, uh, a fairly exhausted looking Lysander and Sire sit down uh, at the table towards the end. Um, Gar Gartak seems fresh as a daisy as he, as he as he walks in with you, sits himself down, and goes, ah, grabs some meat and just starts ripping into it. <laughs> well, yeah, was gen- yeah, generally, obviously, I'm not necessarily physically worn out, but I, at this point, I'm probably, men- you know, sort of like mentally drained because obviously I've been trying to, you know, get my, you know, get myself into, in the, into like trying to get into a mental. Yeah. You're, you're definitely more mentally than physically. You're still physically drained, like you've done a day's sort of typical work, but mentally, you're fairly exhausted. If you're mentally drained, I think you're not meditating right. <laughs> Actually, laddie, that means he's doing it right. He should be after a day like I've put him through. <laughs> Rips him all. <clears throat> I'm going to be sat next to Lysander. So, I've started to learn some more tricks. That's good. <clears throat> Gotta work on it, though. Whereas, not uh, the only one. I've got a bit more fire <laughs> Oh, wow, that's impressive. You did that all in one day. Well, we did. Nice. Call it the Gambit. That's a cool name. He's quite the blacksmith. <laughs> so, so Sia looking over the table from where she sat, sort of looks it over from where she is. So very impressed. Yeah, very Especially for a first try. That's damn impressive. Both of you should be proud of the handiwork. Oh, we are. Mm. And I quite like the embellishments you put on it. That Thanks. was... That's... Thank you. I uh, also, also managed yeah. to make you build, build in a, a final gambit, as I call it. Ah, so you've added a little something extra. Mm-hmm. You have the makings of a good gunslinger. Well, thank you. That's what I'm hoping for. So, uh, so she sort of almost sits back a little bit. How has everyone else's days gone? I can see how yours <coughs> gone, if I'm going to be quite yeah. honest. <clears throat> you know, I mean, some might say it could have gone better, but I think I still learned a lot. You know, yeah, you're still well, breathing. That's pretty nice good. Map on that. I, <laughs> as they say, probably blood still trickling good, out my wounds. It's good that we're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good that we're bleeding <laughs> on the inside. That's why we're bleeding supposed to be. Yes, it's a blood supposed to be. I was, was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, ju- I'm here like this, and I'm like, mm. you should probably put some ice on that, as there is blood still yeah, trickling so you down. You should probably put a bandage on that. <sighs> So we have I'm good. So we have internal and external bleeding. Mm. <laughs> well, while you're talking, Avelia sort of wanders in and sits in Lord Paulbrook's seat mm-hmm. quite happily. And cocks her leg up onto the onto the, the arm of it and takes something to eat and says, How was all of your days? Yeah, oh, productive. Productive? Uh, those two definitely had eventful days. Mm. Don't remember half of it. Don't remember. Oh. <laughs> well, I think. Yeah. I think it's best not to cry. No, I know. I'm gonna stop myself. <laughs> You'll oh, find out soon. I'd like to get some time tomorrow on, um, out in the butts if that's possible. Um, my 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 aim isn't as good as it was. Yeah, butts. Oh. Okay. Close my book <laughs> and turn, noticing who's actually spoken because that's what I normally do. Mm. Okay. And how was yours? And thank you for dealing to speak with us today. I was okay. Wandered around, found some hiding places. Sort of smiles, looking off wistfully. Found some hiding places, put some bodies in there, they'll never be found. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking, calm, fairly calm day. Found some hiding places, killed an ice giant. <laughs> <laughs> the usual. <laughs> Do you enjoy staying here at the castle? Hmm. It's oh. my home. Has it always been your home? Not always. But you like it now? I definitely like it now. The words that you spoke to us the other day, are they still a feeling for when you've been changed? Do you have any further words for us, perhaps? No. Everyone gets one. 
<laughs> so friendship level is too damn high. Yeah. She 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 quietly dips her hand into uh, a terrine of mashed potatoes and just starts eating it. So wise. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see her doing see her doing that, and I'm just like like. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking if she can do that, why can't I do that? As I <laughs> Where's see, the mashed potato? As I see you're looking at the mash, I'm like, what? Sorry. Are you any good at sketch? So, she can do it. Oh, I think. Go, go, go! Stand next to you. As as he as he sees the cogs turning <laughs> in your head, he just takes two fingers and slaps you on the back of the head with them. Oh, that's just horrible. What, what does he do? <laughs> just 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 two fingers. What does he do? Oh, he was eyeing up the mash so he could take hands. Yeah, because she did that, and I'm just like, well, she could do that. Like, why are you standing on ceremony? <laughs> As the slap happens, I'm like, well, not sandwiches, it's a spoon. It's like, oh. It's a spoon like everyone else. Hey, so, hey, so you got hey, ankle. Not being funny, but she's more special than you are. Fuck <laughs> you! Uh, you're not wrong. What kind of gun is it? Alright, <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, it's As I'm sitting there like this. Trying not to doze off. Uh, it's a Functionally, for the design, it is a flintlock, um, but it's known as in the basic rules a palm pistol. Yeah, so a small flintlock. Okay. But, but I don't have my. I still don't have my elbows on the table. I'm resting like the, I'm like this. Mm-hmm. So it goes every so often, and like mm-hmm. because you never put your elbows on the table. <coughs> Mm. I have to sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's because otherwise you can't breathe. Mm. Not me. Oh, I need a booster seat. Sorry. Yeah, that's a point. You know, have you actually got like a booster yeah, seat? No, they, I, I, I see they've got some cushions for me or a box. Uh, they telephone directly. They've, they've got <coughs> that, or they have taller chairs. Yeah. High chair. <laughs> <laughs> this chair is demeaning. Why? <laughs> 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 because you can't <laughs> climb up it yourself. <laughs> But no, it, it, it looks it looks yeah. like they've got chairs specifically designed for halfling and uh, gnome guests, yeah. so. which look just as impressive, if not more impressive, than the rest <laughs> of the other chairs. Ages four to seven. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, oh, it's great. I feel yeah. really secure in this tall chair. You know, I can't, I can't fall out of it. <laughs> well, I'm going to take my crossbow down to the butts tomorrow. You know, uh, get get some more practice. My showing against the uh, against the host wasn't too good. I want to uh, improve. Well, in the morning, I'm probably going to grab some materials, but then I'll join you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'll join you on that, unless... Yes, but in the morning and uh, in the workshop in the afternoon. Uh, so, like my son says, yeah, so I, I feel it may be good for you to do some more normal uh, training exercises to see how you settle in. Of course. I'll join you tomorrow. Look forward to having you join us. In fact, um... If if you are interested, we could possibly set up uh, almost a, a training uh, exercise with some of the guards, if, if you'd like. Mm-hmm. Nothing uh, nothing uh, yeah. lethal, of course. No, of course. No, of course. Oh, but some, something yeah. that would give give you all some practice in a more controlled environment. Yes, with 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 no plans as such. It, it'll be a bit more freeform. shifting, freeform. Yes. Mm. 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 Only if you'd be mm. interested. No. Again, nothing Sounds good. dangerous. Sounds appealing to me. It's a good idea. Good idea. Well, if if the mm. if the five of you are interested then I will uh, I will have that set up this evening, ready for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. No no no, would be that would be a good time. So he he sort of wipes wipes his mouth with with a napkin, says, Oh, I'm finished for the evening, so I will go and set that up and I will probably see some of you tomorrow. Right. Mm-hmm. Any heads up? And let's, I, I think we should retire to the to well, what, what room. yeah to the to the, to the to the commons room right around the fire and talk. I could do a cigar around that. Yeah. So what is uh, what is this, this training you're starting to put us through? I mean, what uh, what do you think the end uh, to the end was? I mean, up, uh, they want us to work for them, or are we going to be beholden to them in, in some way? I think it's either they've just seen potential in us and want, no and want to bring us closer mm-hmm. to that potential, or we might be needed. So. Well, this is a large. This is a large city. They have lots of people with potentials. Um, I don't know, forgive me if I'm uh, suspicious, but um, you know, a, a, a mm. gift is rarely freely given. Mm. Mm, no, with the intensity of the training, I would almost think that whatever it is, there is something in particular that may be coming soon. 
Mm. Mm. I am not exactly likely to bite the hand that's feeding us so well. Right no, 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 but. Uh, well, I might. <clears throat> well, I'm not used well, to at least they, they took a bite out of you first. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm not used yeah, to boy. hospitality this uh, this grand, so I'm a little uneasy. But uh, yeah. mm, no, same. I haven't quite settled in yet. I'm the same as you, Rob. I have my doubts, and they they have honourable intentions, but I'm going to make the most of what they offer until they take it away. Hmm? So far, a lot of what I've seen is just normal hospitality from a host. Oh, yeah. Strange I'm, kind of hospitality you have had today. This is different. I asked for this. Mm-hmm. Well, life gives you lemons, make them explode, because fuck lemons. <laughs> but two. No, um, I like lemon cakes. <laughs> the food, the drinks, the the training is mm. extra. Extra, but everything else is very cestus. Sorry, words. Very normal for guests of such. Mm-hmm. Now, Makaria, um, you've been reading a lot. Yes. Um, have you been reading much into, you know, Obsidia? Like, I don't know, maybe Legends, wait, wait, Lore? Wait. I bring out my massive book again, the one that I'm currently reading. Yes, I found a finishing things. So would you like to hear about it? Um, I yeah, would. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would. Okay. Um, so, sorry, quickly. Does one of those interesting things state the age of the people that currently are uh, with us? Um, sort of training us, sort of, because I think they're a lot older than they seem. Sort I would of. be surprised. Mm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Obsidia is known as the capital city of Valir. Valir, yeah. Though it is widely considered the biggest and most popular city in the world, it is colossal. The city is run by a single leader, Lord Tolbrook. However, it supposedly is also looked after by four heroes and their descendants who have been here for a very long time. Legend states that a couple of them have been around since the Deca Siege of Obsidia, and that was over two centuries ago. Hmm. Hmm. While having such long-lived heroes in itself is something remarkable, the nature of them is a great wonder even than this. Compromise of an angel, an orc, a werewolf, and apparently a dragon. The dragon being the most wondrous and mysterious. I think that's um, Arivaria. Wait, sorry, I have a name written down, sorry. Avelian. I believe so. I think you might be a dragon according to this. According to legend, an ancient silver dragon, who some legend state was there at the founding of Obsidia, but most passes off to rumour mongering and exaggeration as that possibly that simply couldn't be possible. I mean honestly, the city is millennia old. There's no way even a dragon can live here so long. Mm-hmm. Obsidia is a bustling city, it is a pros- prosperous prosperous place rife with opportunity, many make their way there to trade and peddle their wares, though not all call it home. There are many shops, inns, trades and artisans and they all want to be the best. Most of them work with obsidian as it's one of the things that gives the city its name, though iron is still still common. Many of obsidian traders actually sell things above their real value, though a small number of permanent shops give better prices as incentive for repeat custom. Many of the artisans do not sell their wares directly, most partner up with traders in order to get good prices and to help enable them to focus more fully on their work. Uh, some few of them do trade their own wares for only a few. Obsidia gets large supplies of food and other provisions with regular shipments provided from the Orcs of Karkath, Karkath. Karkath the city, garden city of Casagor and the port of Saltwash, though the smaller villages and towns around the continent also provide such services. Obsidia regular trades with most of the other continents to some degree, though Rageler? Uh, Ragelt. Ragelt, sorry. Still remains as isolated as ever, that's the continent at the bottom. Mm. This supposedly has not changed since the schism of the dwarfs. Obsidia is a colossal city, walking from one side of the outer walls to the other, which take the better part of five days, assuming each day you walk for eight hours. The outer wall is huge. Inside this wall, prior to reaching the inner wall, is a huge expanse of land used for such things as farming and army training exercises. This serves as convenient farmland as well as an excellent natural defence should anyone manage to breach the wall. The inner wall is not as large, though it is also well defended. As the city is so large, there are teleport points set up to help facilitate travel. If people are so inclined, they can use the main roads, as they are large enough for horse and cart travel. There are several stables where horses can be rented or bought and various taxi carts are also available. Uh, despite its size, Obsidia doesn't really have a seedy underbelly or a cost divide. 
That's what reading my book's done for me. Very interesting things so far. <laughs> yeah, it's a truly uh, wondrous place. Mm. Yeah. The rest is more about things like the crime. Um, they have three homes here because they um, um, don't. They look after all the homeless and the destitute here, so there aren't any on the streets. The city is very good at looking after the um, like homeless community. Communist. Um, yeah, it's very nice. And then races in Obsidia, the most numerous races in Obsidia are human, half elves and half orcs tend to be most common. Full orcs and elves tend to find the city a little too civilised for them. Therefore, while the city does have a fair number of them, their numbers are somewhat lower than humans and their half offspring. The populace spots a fair number of halfling and gnomes, though they tend to prefer quieter places of more natural beauty. Very few dragonborn and tieflings tend to live here, though a number of them call it home. Obsidia does not really have a kind of racial segregation. Any and all races are welcome, including dwarfs. The vast majority of dwarfs still don't opt to live here as a whole prince that exists, though there are still a few who do. In the last recent years, there have been more trade with Ironcrest, and therefore dwarfs have become more commonplace. Mm. Uh, racial or sexual abuse is not tolerated in Obsidia. Such things as racial slurs and homophobia are viewed as nasty and outdated concepts, and any such incidents of prejudice result in a minimum sentence of two months jail time depending on severity. Um, and Obsidia as a whole does not celebrate other festivals or events as a city. Most of them follow the typical Valyrian or world festivals. Mm. That is what I, some of the things I have found out by reading my book. Mm. Very yeah, interesting. interesting. Yeah. There you are. Mm. Mm, truly a wondrous place. I think so. Mm. I think at some point, if we get a chance to, we should ask for a day and we should go and have a look around the market to see what places there are. Mm, oh, definitely. Mm. That could be a good Maybe idea. we could do it today off from once we've had some time off from our training. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. But I think yeah. since it's such a large place, it would be better to go as a group, especially as we are strangers mm. to you. Maybe have a guide. We mm. could ask perhaps if someone would be free to come with us. Maybe not one of the lords. No, no. But no, one of the one of the other castle staff who's uh, native of this city. No, no. Yeah. Best to get a local to show you around, I find. Yeah. <coughs> and how has everyone's day been? Mm. I say by putting my book back up, I am the <laughs> I tinkered. What did you tinker with? Oh, uh, I was oh, yeah. I was helping um, I was helping Mr. Hawkins uh, with his uh, firearm. How did that go? Uh, the trigger was a little, the trigger mechanism was a little was a little crude, but uh, it works. Wonderful. But uh, he did very well. I think we did a pretty damn good job of this together. Mm. Well, it is certainly a fine piece. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I've definitely learned. Yeah, learned a lot. Um, you know, there's certainly, yeah, certainly an element of magic, I suppose. Wait, wait. With my mage hand, I start stirring the teapot, <clears throat> bringing out tea to everybody. Is that okay, or do I have to use multiple uses of my mage hand? No, no. Um, it, it's it's a cantrip, so I'm happy enough that uh, coffee has gone. In right. times of downtime like this, it's not a problem. Put a coffee in front of you, <coughs> make it milk, and then stir. This is a teaspoon of stirring the sugar. Same place. Uh, I bring you that, and then I pull out a bottle Thank of whiskey you. and put a drop of that in your drink, and a drop into your drink. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Um, just you know, just with that, you know, cause, um, is there um, like a can, you know, a candle on like the the table that we're you know either hold around Probably. or nearby? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So There's a couple of candles around the room. Yeah, I just I just kind of go out as I wonder. Um, Not much with your mind. No, yes, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, with my yeah with my mind. I, but, no, I basically try and try and think back to you know um, what I did you know during you know, during the fight, and I'm just thinking well, maybe I control other elements as well. You, know, and you are the avatar. I can. I, you know, I, I can. I can try to, you know, to, you know, to snuff it out. Yeah. So you, you you think you think back to the the focus you had mid fight, and then you wince as you remember another elbow hitting the other side of your head. <laughs> How much your ribs hurt? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like I wonder. That's <laughs> <laughs> out. You just wince. <laughs> you okay there, Carson. And it's like ah, uh, just Something really vivid flashbacks. <laughs> God, Jack is a cruel mistress. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so, no, yeah, it's fine. I think I'm still a little sore. <laughs> Who were you training with today? Uh, Gartak. I think that's just about everything mm. we need to know. He's a lot wiser than he lets on. Well, what well, would not get to his um, his position without being a bit wise? But I'm guessing he still hits like a car. No, uh, potentially harder. Mm. Oh. I imagine, I imagine he punches like a horse kicks. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, I think of that one. 
<laughs> but no, through no, through his you know his relentless you know attack, he brought something you know something out of me, mm. um, which seemed to be his intention. Mm. <clears throat> so with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna fo- yeah, I'm gonna focus. You know, and I'm pr- you know, uh, I'm not gonna snap. I was just thinking I just wanted to snap, but no. <laughs> You know, I you know I'm literally just, you know just gonna you know kind of do this, yeah, you know, do that, sort of visualize visualize it, mm-hmm. and the candle goes out. Are you magical Ooh. like me? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to relight it with my with my uh, fire starter again. So you're a witch, huh? <laughs> uh, I, I get the feeling I can control elements. I I think it, you know I controlled Wait. air before. Hang on, light it. I blow it out. Yeah. <laughs> perform, <laughs> monkey, perform. Yeah, because I don't even know, so I'm literally just going to have the first gesture that come, you know, comes to my head, so I'm just literally just going to go, mm-hmm. That's not right. Wax on. You know, and, you know, it'll, 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 and it'll light it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so, huh. That maybe it's really not, interesting. Maybe it's oh, not the action. Redundant. Maybe it's the intent. <coughs> just, just, just clicks and like the, the candle just disintegrates. No, no, no wrong Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Mm. I wonder when they changed to become a work creature today. You what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> such, <laughs> it's so natural. Such things are dangerous. How did you become one? <laughs> Lord Lysander. You forced it upon you? No, I asked for it. So. Okay. That was the walk we had yesterday. Okay. Is this something to do with your <clears throat> fighting abilities, whatever that is? You know the story I told you about my brother? No. Yes. Mm, yes. Mm. yes. Right. No. You, you, two, just, weren't you, you two weren't there. Yeah. It oh, was only to him oh, when we were getting drunk. I know that's why I said no. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I, I, I forgot. Because <laughs> we, we've had story time before. <laughs> um. So, I'll tell you a bit about my past. Uh, I was a lady of a um, noble family. Cassandra Harmont of the Harmont family. Oh. Um, yeah, so any, anyone who wants to can roll a history? Mm. No. 16. Wait a second. Oh, you Sorry. might. You've, you've, you've heard of the Harmont no, family got... name. Um, prominent yeah. prominent yeah. nobles. Um, but... Um, haven't heard much more than the name and the fact that they're noble. Ah, I see. Mm-hmm. Um, I left that life when one of my seven brothers killed the eldest. No. So the second eldest killed the eldest and was planning to kill me and my twin brother. Oh. So we left. Uh, went to the Ice Heart Mountains up in the uh, north, and I almost died. Oh! I lost my twin. Ah. I uh, was well. After almost dying, and get, getting better, I found my way to. Uh, Okay. <laughs> to reviewing backstory notes vigorously. To buffering. <laughs> Finding notes. Two, spin round. Two, 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 two. Have you got There's a glitch in the matrix. Have you got a spiral <laughs> thing you can do on a ship? Spin round. <laughs> <laughs> should get one. Yeah. To the city of Tamfel. <clears throat> um, the continent Fortier. So, mm. for, for reference, um, nobody has excessive information, obviously, except her, but everyone's heard of Tanfell as being a bad place. It's mm. rough. That's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's up here. <laughs> After I got there, I was almost killed again for being what I am. Not the lichen thing, the... Azamar thing. Yeah. I'm sorry, the what? She's an Azamar. I'm an Azamar. Wasn't it obvious? <clears throat> No way! I thought you came from, from, from a caravan trading family. Surely you've met people before. <laughs> yes, but you know. Why do you think I can take a lot more in than you can? Uh, it does explain a lot, but still, those kind of people—they're—they're—they're 
extremely rare. Oh God! You did so not did just you say just that. Say those kind of people. I mean, the, I mean, this is true. I, th- I think I what didn't he mean, mean it in a bad way. I think what he means. Uh, I think what our uh, rather um, unerudite friend means is uh, is that um, ASMR are more unusual around these parts. Yeah. And here we'll reenact what your parents mm-hmm. just yeah, did. Thank you. Wide. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, thank you. I meant no more offense. more confusing about the fact that I am an Azamar, as is my twin brother, is that the rest of my family are not. Oh. Oh, so I mean. But it is said in our ancestry that there was an angel. So forgive me. So am I just so skipped forgive, seven generations? Yeah, for, 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 forgive, forgive my ignorance. So um, uh, the ASMR bloodline is something which uh, which, which a, another race can down. carry and pass down, but not necessarily inherit inherit the um, the traits of. I guess so. Hmm. Yeah. So for, for, for reference, because you've looked it up before, um, and she does sort of relay this on. Um, the way the way a lot of Azamars work is yes you do get Azamar parents for some Azamar children same as same as you will with tieflings mm. but um, on the rare occasion and this happens with Azamars and tieflings as well um, somewhere back in their family line there's a more pure uh, a pure cross uh, cross species union so angels and humans demons and humans or devils and humans um, and it doesn't always present in their Every immediate generation. child um, sometimes it can be almost dormant for mm. generations before someone actually is born presenting the signs of that heritage. Just like gingers. <laughs> 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 oh no. Not <laughs> much longer. After saying that, so me and my uh, twin were viewed as somewhat of a uh, miracle birth, especially being born on Dragon's Frost Night. Oh wow, so everyone was just deer to get Yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, um, so like I said, after being word. almost killed in Tamfell for being an Azamar, um, I met my teacher, who has taught me how to be as uh, effective as I am. I understand. I understand. <laughs> but the reason why I asked for the uh, wear curse, as some would call it. Or the light cancer. Like Anthropy, yeah. Is it the wolf? Because I've heard it can be other things. I don't know. I was sort of out of it. I don't know if I turned I, or what I turned into. I remember I reading know. about Sansa Werebear. No, yeah, no, no, I've, I've heard a Werebear. So the reason I asked for it is so that one day I can be strong enough to kill my brother. The one who... The one that killed... Yeah. Um, excuse me for asking, but where is your twin brother? I have no idea. Are you still searching for him? That's why I was at... What's the town called? Saxton. Saxton. Because I've been searching for my twin. Okay. It's a shame that whole, like, myth of the whole twin psychic link bundle jumbo ain't real. Oh, no, we get that sometimes. It's just too far away? No, no, there were points where I could be doing <coughs> something. Like, <laughs> there was one time when um, I was running around and... I was very hungry. Uh. Very hungry. Went to palm a loaf of bread and all I could hear was my brother telling me to stop being an idiot. It just happened. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Hmm. Mm, yeah, that was my day. So that wait. Was pretty intense. <clears throat> yeah, so, yeah, so wait. So that night we went out. Yeah. You really did did drink like twenty odd gallons of ale. Yeah. How could you fit such How could you fit such an amount inside yourself? Probably peed a lot. He was just too drunk to notice me going. Mm-hmm. You notice that your pants? Oh wait, no, you were too passed out to know your pants were yellow. Um, I I remember I remember <laughs> drinking three three gallons, and that's about as far as I remember. I ended up throwing you in the tub. Yes, I found you there. I hope your pants got thrown out. Uh, I didn't touch. Wait, did I basically tell you to go away? Yes. Oh. I didn't give I you the option. I do remember that. <laughs> I didn't give you the option. You were waking up. Uh, yeah. If that happens again and he tries to keep up with me, just dump a load of water on his face and I wake him up eventually. I feel he's not going to try it again. <laughs> no, but you know, anyone else dare to challenge. Oh, hell no. 
I'm still human. I know my limits. <laughs> I don't think. Given my, given my size, I'm not sure I could, I, I could keep up with you. There you go. <clears throat> no, my friend Barefoot, he could drink you under the table. <laughs> yes, uh, the I halflings. Really? The halflings. Oh, oh, no, he's he is only a, he's a model. He's a halfling. Uh, Halflings have a, have a great appetite. On the side. Mm, well, yes. I mean, to be fair, what, what you remember of Barefoot, he could pack away some ungodly amounts of alcohol. Oh, yes. So he probably could get Food, me alcohol. A... He, had a, he, had, he had a great appetite for all things. Hmm. So what I'm hearing is, is we need to find him so we can have a competition, see who can outlast the other. Uh, <laughs> I've not seen him for I've seen him for a long time since I was working at a caravan guard out of uh, Castlegore. Well, mm. you never know. One day we might find him. Mm. He's a mule, he was a mule driver. Mm. Yeah, he might be around. Maybe, maybe uh, fate might see us and just see him yeah. from last time. Well, you know what to say. <laughs> All roads lead to Castlegore. <laughs> There's some people do say anyway, that. I think we should turn in for the night. I need to go to bed. I'm tired. But he may be fine because... Uh, mm. I'm going to go for it. Although before bed, I think I'm going to go for a smoke. <laughs> okay. Mm. So with that, everyone uh, winds down, finishes their drinks, heads off to their respective rooms, uh, gets some much-needed sleep in some cases. Yes. Um... You do wake up with four hit points and everything next day, so anyone who's lost any hit points. <laughs> I was down to three! Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I was down to three good, hit points. Yeah, good rest, except not on my right side, or on my left side, or on my back, or any other way. Based, 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 <laughs> on, based on roleplay, you're tender, but. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hang on. Because Zach asked me to sketch it. There you go. Oh, nice. Nice. Is that up to the camera? Yeah. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. I can't tell. <gasps> That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. A couple of days of training goes by. Um, you end up having your sparring with the guards, and the guards don't really stand much of a chance. A lot of them are fairly basic guys put together who volunteered for a bit of a scrap, and most of them are fairly green, wet behind the ears, and just not really a challenge. So you guys pretty soundly kick the stuffing out of them. Here to chew bubble gum Bang. and kick yeah. some ass. Yeah, yeah, and oh, all oh, out of bubble gum. Shoot, yeah, sh- sh- shooting them with big sort of pad- padded ended uh, bolts. Bow. Love um. bolts I hear. <laughs> <laughs> but, but from a powered gro- from a full powered crossbow. Bow, ah, oh, my tits. <laughs> I'm not even blanks. Uh, you probably, you'd probably be firing a, be, a loose, um, a, 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 you a have, loose pack half shot. Be, you had to go back to your crossbow with the padded oh. ends, unfortunately, for that. But either way, you soundly beat them. You have a feast in the evening, uh, all celebrating the camaraderie and the, you know, fun that it brought with the guards nursing various bruises and injuries. I had the extra added thing of stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Um, <laughs> during during the course of uh, of that day, um you are provided with the materials in exchange for the the money that you were looking for because you just ask one of the castle hands and they go off and get it for you um, and the two of you spend another another uh, another day of tinkering <coughs> while the others do some of their sort of typical trainings and a few basic bits and pieces so uh, if you'd like to do your crossbow trigger which yep. he is assisting you yep. mm-hmm. so you do get a, you do get advantage oh okay so oh, advantage yep Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is it int? <coughs> yeah, int. Uh, you don't need to roll for this. Uh, yeah, it's just an assist with him. So. Okay. Yep, yeah, so that's um, 19. Okay, so you figure out um, that you can do one of two things by shifting the trigger and some of the positionings and things. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can either, um, again, taking a cue from the crafting of the gun, set it up so that once per short rest you can have a free reload. Mm. Um or you can set it up um, to be a double shot crossbow, but it takes uh, it takes a full round to reload. Hmm. Both are barely appealing. Yes. Yeah. Let me think. I have a think about that. <laughs> Alternatively, you can use normal actions to reload it to only reload one of yeah. the Ooh, things. I think we should get rid of them. Let's go for far, the first re- rapid reload. Cool. So, so same same as his. You set yep. it up so that it's got uh, so, once per short rest. You can get a free reload so instantly. I've I've I've, 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 put an, I've put an extra sort of cocky. I've got another cocking lever on so I can 
will rapidly draw the uh, say, draw the bow back. If, even if you don't have extra attack, when you use it, you can fire that attack as well. Mm. Whereas if you've got extra attack, it'll just function with extra attack. Um, so, and then for your gun, yep. you guys know what it is that you are um, doing. With a slight twist. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, Burke, if you want to attempt to give him bonuses as well as his advantage, mm -hmm. you can attempt a tinkering roll. Yep. Um, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so what's your total on that one? Uh, that will be 22. Right. Very nice. So you get advantage with a plus four. Cool. The, uh, the slight tweet we wanted to make for the second one is mm -hmm. uh, a flick out blade. Okay, so you basically want to give it a, a yeah, yeah, because a concealable weapon. bayonet. No, or not a even concealable. Gun blade. Not, even, not even concealable. <laughs> Just something so he can. He's got a, a melee weapon without having to take the gun out of his hand. Okay. Um, a pistol gun blade. Okay, so the, fir the first part is assembling the parts again. So again, it's a dex-based tinkering with advantage. That's the advantage. Uh, that's... Dex-based. Uh, uh, that's the advantage. That's 18. Yep, yeah, so again, you assemble all the parts, no problem. Um, mm -hmm. And then for the afternoon again, if you, Burke, you want to roll tinkering to see if you give him pluses or not. 10. Okay, no, so no pluses for the uh, for the second one, but you still get advantage. And, and this, this one is the hidden space. Hey! Uh, yeah, yeah, so big dice is better. Yeah, so that's 24. Yeah, so you do manage to uh, fashion it fairly well, and you manage to put on... So functionally, it can it can work as a knife as well. It'll be, it'll be a standard knife stats, and because of the fact that you've got such a good roll overall, mm -hmm. um, You'll still be able to use the is it finesse with a dagger? Yes. Yeah, so it will still mm -hmm. count as finesse, um, but um, yeah, it's just just a dagger though, for the purposes of the way that melee part functions. And now for the most difficult part: what the fuck do I name it? <laughs> I'll come back. Stabby McShooty. No. <laughs> Fine, Shooty McStabby. Both Pig stick. Stab him. So, the sting. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ooh. So into the into the third third day after all of this. So you've made your second gun. You've improved your mm -hmm. uh, your crossbow. You guys have done a bit day. more training. Uh, so this is currently the twenty eighth of October. Oh. Um, you guys get a chance to go out into the wider city of Obsidia, yeah. and as you said, you wanted to go as a group. Do we have to go armed or unarmed or? You are, allowed, you are allowed to go armed. There's nothing stating you're not allowed weapons in the city because mm -hmm. self-defense is allowed. Just if anything kicks yeah. off, you'll be arrested along with yeah, yeah. everyone else. I'm, I'm always armed. armed. <coughs> yeah, yeah. <Same>. <laughs> Buddy. Right, I'll, um, yeah, I'll, I'll go out on foot. Let the, leave the dog behind. Do we okay. have a go at with us? That's you what we're do. Looking for. Um, so, if you give me two seconds. No. Uh, well, fucking easy. One. <laughs> Be hard. Two. There's your two seconds. Oh, well, fuck it. You can wave it. I'll go. That's how the ending works. Um, That's how the ending so. works. Give me a minute. I've got to look something up. Yep. So, based on the fact that you've mentioned that you wanted to go, mm -hmm. um, the, the lords managed to uh, get hold of the guard who you were guided to the Obsidian Keep by initially. Uh, awesome. Her name was Cerise, if you remember. Mm. Yes. And they basically they bring her in and ask her if she'd like to functionally take a day off and act as your guide. Um, to which she says, "Oh, uh, I certainly will." Um, free day off? <coughs> of course, she don't mind. Basically, she's still paid as as though it's a regular day doing her work, mm. but she gets to wander around the city and do dick all and, and do some shopping, maybe. Yeah. Um, so she she is armed, same as most of you, but she's not wearing full guard armor. Um, she's got some sort of uh, some leathers and things for basic protection and so the equivalent of my armor. Yeah. Um, but uh, so she, when you gather in the in the morning after breakfast, just, hello again. Uh, it's oh. been a about a week, I believe, since I, I last oh. saw you. Um, I've been asked to be your guide for the day, so where, where would you all like to, to go? Or what are you looking for? 
I want to go to the marketplace and mm. see what treasures there are to offer in this town. Is there is there a particular type of treasure you're searching for, which potentially will change which area of obsidia we go to? Um, trinkets, or if there are any sort of small things that might help us as we're going. I'm not looking for any arms or armor, so. Mm. Don't need anything like that. Oh, they had a key, an obsidian key ring that says obsidian on it. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind getting my little armor slow, but I can wait. Okay. Um, okay, I'll, 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 I'll take you to one of the uh, slightly busier uh, markets then. Yay! Um, if you'd like to come with me then. So, sure. she leads you straight out of the out of the main doors of the, the Obsidian Keep castle uh, and walks you straight down the main uh, the main sort of uh as we're walking, I'm going to point out the pub that he got smashed at. <laughs> we went there, it was so, lovely. Uh, she's actually very busy. Because that was out of the side doors. And oh, I think we went out the main gate. Ooh, you, you guys went out one of the side the side doors, the same one you came in, actually. Mm. It's just um, so big, right. you thought it was a big gate. <laughs> yeah. This this one is massive. There's right. proper proper archway um, in, in the wall of the keep itself. Did they okay. build this um, for an Then owner? I don't find <laughs> out the pub that we went to. <laughs> I reckon that you could get about three elephants side by side for that. Well, no one's really sure who built this. this Are elephants commonplace around here? Probably not this, not this What's an elephant? Um, hmm. How would I describe an elephant? Oh, Think a massive unarmored armadillo. What's an armadillo? <laughs> oh, I know this. You know the uh, you know a shrew with his with his pointy, wiggly nose. Actually, that's a banana. It's like that, but big. It, it's like that, but bigger than a horse. Wow. Considerably. And no, and bold, mostly. Did you say something about armor? An armadillo. Oh, that's just a name, right? Okay. <clears throat> For some reason I just imagined an animal with armor. Kind of. So, mm-hmm. That's basically a honey badger. Oh, like a pagulum. Like, like a pagulum. <laughs> so while, while you're talking, what? she <laughs> she walks you a hundred or so foot down the road out of the gate mm-hmm. to one of the uh, one of the teleport circles, and gestures for you all to step on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, step on the circle. Oh no! And she steps oh, yeah, on again. after you guys as well. Don't worry, I'm also feeling that. <laughs> and she she puts in a few a few of the uh, beep, symbols. Boop, beep, boop. And you teleport. So again, this this is the second time is not nearly as overwhelming. It's it's still you sort of have the moment of weightlessness. Your eyes, your vision goes a bit white, and then it comes back. But it, it's not quite as bad this time because you know it's coming. Not again! Not again! And I feel so drunk BTSD, again. BTSD, BTSD. <laughs> when you when you appear on the other end, uh, there are several stalls around, similar to last, the last one that you came out on to the side. Yeah. Um, but again, there's a lot more things like jewellery, trinkets, um, you know, a few wood carvings here and there. Um, there's the odd weapon stall, but not nearly as many. Um, it's like one one in every sort of 15 might be a weapon stall. Um, but there's various odds and ends, a uh, few pieces of clothing on a few stalls. Um, and there's a couple of actual shops uh, there as well that are Aren't just stalls outside the proper, mm. proper shop building. <laughs> oh, boo hoo! <laughs> White people problems. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> no, no, no. I think not having enough room to fit weapons in a Dungeons and Dragons character sheet is the very definition of white people problems. Fighter problems. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the stalls <clears throat> and shops. Is there a bookstore? Is there a bookstore? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> is it just, Wake is it up when there is one. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of jewelry stores. Okay, I'm going to go up to the first one and start having a look at some of the trinkets and things. Right. I'm going to go with her and I'm going to find like a necklace or something that matches her eyes and shit. You know, proper girly shit. And shit. And shit. Sure. With, so a matching, with matching earrings. And then I have a look and see if your ears are pierced. <laughs> yeah. So the, the half elf, the half elf woman at the store, they're saying, "Hello." Oh, there's, there's, we have some lovely pieces today. If there's anything particularly looking for, uh, we have earrings, necklaces, lovely uh, toe rings, actually. If, if you're that way inclined, this necklace would really bring out your eyes. Would it? it goes with these matching earrings. Oh, okay. If you were looking for one, I just, I oh. think that would suit you the best. I don't suppose you would have what they call, uh, what are they called? Uh, those little trinkety things. Charms? That's the one. Uh, we, we have a couple, yes. Um, 
Uh, we have a couple of uh, uh, Obsidia Crest dragon heads. Um, we have... There you go. Puff. Ooh. You said you um, wanted a trinket. Ah, trinkets! We, we have hmm. uh, a couple of your, your typical sort of wolf and um, snake type. I don't uh, suppose you happen to have any of the four playing places. suits, would you? Like on, on cards? Yeah. It's not, it's not something we've ever been asked for, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, I, 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 I've never asked our uh, goldsmith to make any, any such. I mean, I, I can do, but... Um, I mean, it's not too much for a father. Uh, I, I, I can certainly uh, ask him if he can make them. Um, uh, I, I'm not seeing him until lunchtime at this point. Oh, um, there's no rush. It's just a mild inquiry. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can certainly, I can certainly ask him if he can make those. Did we come up with a name for our company? I can't remember. No, we no, we didn't. No, we we threw a load. We can't of get matching approaches then. <laughs> yeah. Bitch squad. <laughs> yeah, we we um, threw a load of names out there, but then it's like, eh, okay. no. Could you make me a set of earrings with this insignia on it, please? As I hand over the signet ring. Yeah, so she takes takes a look, um, so examines the ring a little bit. <coughs> uh, she, she, doesn't, she doesn't recognize the insignia. Um, I I don't see why not. Um, I, I I can certainly. Show this to our, uh, our goldsmith when he's around. I don't really want to be parted with it. But no, no, of, of, of course. Um, um, he he stops by with a few more of the things he's crafted uh, at lunch times. Um, if if you come back there. around midday, um, did you ask me if you could make uh, two of each of those little fingers by the way? Uh, for all four suits, or just well, for all four, just I, two of each. Again, I can I can ask him. I couldn't necessarily say how long it would take. I want to buy some sort of some off the shelf obsidian trinkets. Okay, so we'll come back to that. After ah, you know. Can I have <coughs> the necklace, the earrings, and can I have the wolf uh, necklace, please? Uh, you certainly can. Uh, wolf. Oh, mm-hmm. She she picks them up, yeah. and she she takes she takes a, a small a small yeah. wooden carved box. That, like, um, and she she gently wraps wraps the chains around uh, a small a small wooden block, puts mm-hmm. it inside this uh, slightly bigger wooden case, uh, and she looks each one says, mm-hmm. and that'll be uh, five gold pieces. Okay, give the five gold pieces. So she hands, hands you the box. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's and she magic. places the gold pieces into the uh, sort of little pouch she's got there. Sorry. Uh, yes, I want to buy some off the shelf obsidian trinket. Okay, just, so to say, just to show people I've been here. So, um, are you going to buy one of the obsidian crest um, yes. charms then? Yes. I say it's 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 not <coughs> necessarily <coughs> tiny by any standards. It's it's probably about a, a, a finger's length easily. Okay. Um, and it's it's made from obsidian glass, mm-hmm. and it's got um, yeah. it's got steel around the edges, almost a whole bit um, <coughs> into shape. I know what I'll do. I will because I will get it. I'll get to fix it on my belt. I only got the badges around my belt. Nice. Uh, she, 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 uh, that would be five silver. Mm, yep. Yeah, nice. Done. Okay. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm not one of those from the book. Are you going to say we're going to be? Yeah, we're going to send the show the folks back on this. Um, is there a dress store or shop? Um, there there does look like a shop. Um. Uh, literally, there's just um, a tailor's or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's a, a tailor's that you see. Okay, I'm going to turn between a few of the stalls. We're going to be in the tailor's. Come mm. find us in a minute. Um, okay. When um, you're done perusing. I think I'm Let's go. <clears throat> um, yeah, so she 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 sort of nod, nods and gives a cheery wave as you leave. <clears throat> yeah, just generally, I've just been yeah just been looking and just to see if there's you know, anything that looks unusual. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, yeah, anything that stands out, as, you know, as like I don't know, you know, out, slightly out of the ordinary. <coughs> yeah, Roll yeah, me I'm investigate. No, ooh, investigate. Uh, where? I'm oh, wow. you in a pretty dress. Thirteen, not bad. And her, 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 her. <laughs> so there, there's a couple of stalls that have a few, uh, a few circular bottles with some kind of liquid in them. Um, also, as you're, as you're, as you're perusing, like you see a couple that. 
Without, 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 without asking, he wouldn't know necessarily. There seems to be the odd sort of trinket here and there, but again, not being of an arcane understanding, you wouldn't really, you wouldn't really think to look at a lot of these things. No. <clears throat> but no, no, I'm, that's because there's not because obviously there's nothing particular that I'm looking for. It's just that you know I'm kind of just looking. You're perusing. Something, so, yeah, something that something that stands out. It's going. Hmm, oh God, the that? worst kind of shopper. This, this is weird for Berlin because he's not used to not being a little bastard. To you most, especially yeah. based on the trading that you're you're used to with your family, is probably the, probably the potion bottles. You think. Mm. Probably the most interesting things mm. you see. A lot of the others look like your typical trinkets, odds and ends. Um, you know the the, the odds additional thing here and there that's not necessarily interesting but exotic there's the odd like vase that doesn't look local mm. um you know there, there, there's one that has uh fantastical dragons and such um all curling around the edge of the vase um with a very uh, asian aesthetic to it mm, yeah it's like that's cool but probably mainstream for this town <laughs> no it's not common it's no. not sort of thing you see a lot of it is it is a little bit out of, out of the ordinary, but not okay. something you're likely to be interested in based on your chosen lifestyle. Mm. The, uh, is there any latent labels on the potion bottles? Or uh, one, on one or two of them do. Um, there, you see a couple of potions of climbing, um, and there does appear to be uh, what looks like... A blue potion uh, with Viagra on the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> there, there does seem to be... Uh, Potion of resistance. There's a put some steel in your oh. in your scabbard. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, it's like hmm. Quite a resistance. Hmm. Some pep in your step. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So yeah. And <laughs> gonna call the call the person and stop uh, and stall over. So, excuse me. So um, the, per- the person that comes over is uh, is a, a half orc and he goes. What? How can I help? Oh, yes. Well, I was just wondering how much. The these, and I just point out the two, no, two bottles of the no, the one of climbing and the one of resistance. Okay, so, so, so she's also going, uh, potion of climber would set you back 25 gold. The potion of resistance, oh, that would set you back. Hang on. Where's my book? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my book? <laughs> when what the DM is doing translates into roleplay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Potion of resistance to set you back 400 gold. <laughs> we don't have that money. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, my, that, uh, perhaps that is a little bit out of my price range. That is 50 <laughs> potions. Yeah, it's like, that must must be quite rare, you know, around here. No, no, no. No, that's, um, it, it, it's, it's not common, but it's not rare by any standard. Oh, okay. You probably, probably find them, you say. Yeah. You'll pro- probably find them, you know. Ten, ten a copper, you know, down, down the more potion alleys, I suppose. Um, oh, okay. But you know, they're days away, this kind of place. Hmm. Yeah, so, I was thinking, yeah, thank you. Green one, are you? <laughs> um, well, maybe. One, one, of, one of the people in slightly finer looking clothing um, who is sort of stood nearby says, Oh, for 400 gold for the uh, potion of resistance? Oh, I'll take that, thank you. He says, Oh, thank you very much. Exchanges four hundred gold, gives him the potion. Four hundred gold, bargain! I'll take free. <laughs> As you're looking there longingly at both money and potion. <laughs> <laughs> mm, money, mummy. Yes, yeah, so I, I take it. Uh, yeah, I'll just say. Uh, you know, I'll just say to him after he's done. <laughs> you know, done with the sales. Just, like, just, just, sorry about that. So, uh, don't, don't worry. There, there are quite a few people up, um, around here that seem to have money <laughs> like that. Well, I mean, it's 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 subsidiary. It's it's full of people with a uh, with a full purse and a you know full of desire for nice things. Mm. Um, you know, we we to be honest, we we we, we see you you green on ten a copper. Look looking at things a bit above your price range. Somewhere. Some some of them come back like yeah that gentleman there. Yeah, some of them come back with a bit more money. Some don't. Hmm. So we're basically from Coy- from Croydon walking around Soho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, well, yeah, so it's a, sh- it's a shame. I might have to uh, word one of my companions. Uh, um, I'll see if, you know, see if that, that one of climbing might be useful. So I might, uh, so I might very well be back, but thank you. Well, then, well don't worry too much about the climbing ones. They don't, they don't go too often. Or 
from Jersey. <laughs> it's a bit cheaper, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but no, don't worry. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. No worries, mate. Um, are you guys still around the trinket stall? Yeah. So, uh, busy. Yeah, that's what You've I was, had your turn. Well, I was going back to them. That's why I was checking. So, uh, can I do an insight to see if there's anyone selling anything a bit more explosive? <laughs> <laughs> um, Alchemist potions. Even, thing. even looking around, this is not the area for it. You Damn don't, it. you don't think, based on the request for like trinkets and odds and ends, you don't think you're going to find anything explosive here. Okay. When we're done here, we can go to somewhere that would. You where? think that's more likely to be down somewhere that sells more weapons, armor, if and offenses? If I pull offenses. out a map, where's the NRA on it? <laughs> yeah, the NRA. <laughs> no. <laughs> NRA? What, no rifles allowed? <laughs> <laughs> but no, look, looking around, you can't find anything like that, unfortunately. Damn. Oh well. Pretty see, dresses. Pretty so, dresses. You two head into the tailors, mm -hmm. and you step in. Uh, it's a fairly nice clean shop, um, and there is uh, an elven, elven man who is uh, near sort of the counter area, and uh, a couple of uh, half elven ladies uh, around, sort of making sure that all the dresses are, you know, clean, making sure all the various bits of clothing, charmers gear, making sure it's all nicely stocked. A couple of patrons here and there, a couple of humans, another couple of half elves browsing. So I'm going to walk in, I'm going to walk straight up to the counter. Um, I was wondering if I could peruse some of your uh, sketches for designs of dresses and such. Um, uh, well, um... Or how much would it be to commission you to make a dress? It depends on the material, the uh, ostentation, so mm -hmm. to speak. Um, of course. Um, I'm looking for a fine dress for my friend here. Um, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, any particular requirements? Tail holes? Any such? <laughs> <laughs> it's a valid. What's that? Orifices? <laughs> no, no, no. If I just want a hole, you, 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 you'd want Don't to split. Worry. It's fine. Depends. Hmm. Some, some, some of them they, they, they like the dress to flow yeah. and not split at the bottom, mm -hmm. and they like to have just a space with a with something to decorate around the tail. No? <laughs> I mean, look. How to accommodate a tail with clothing? Uh, yeah, looking around, you see a couple yeah. of sections. Uh, from one here? that has. No. Very, there's only a few things in it, but there's one specifically for dragonborn physique, one specifically for tiefling physique, and there's a couple that have split tails so that the tail is there and just comes out split. There's a couple that have a hole for where the tail would be, and just above that is something that hangs gently over the tail and has um, some beautiful design to cover that. Hmm. So, did you want um, to be on show, or did you want it hidden? Hidden. Hidden, yeah. Mostly okay. the front of my pack of dresses is like, I uh, point to my horns, is show there. Oh, no, no, that'll be fine, I'll help you into the dress. Oh, yeah. um, so, we'll be looking for whole works, corset, <laughs> dress, underskirt. Um, I look at her in horror at the <laughs> corset. Um, she wants to keep her tail hidden, which is fine. Um, I want so, something that matches the colour of her skin, but also brings out her eyes. Okay, so, uh, might I examine? Yes. Um, have you got a back room so we can put her on the stand and try a few things on? Um, <laughs> there, there, there are a couple of changing rooms. Um, for the purposes of examination, for matching eyes and such, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. um, for measurements and such, one of one of my assistants will uh, will be able to take care of that. Okay. Um, for commissions, often uh, cool. we expect a deposit in advance. Of course, how much? Um, Usually uh, a quarter of the price, which mm -hmm. will cover materials in case no one comes to pick up the dress. Obviously. Um, uh, again, as I said, depending on materials and uh, particular design, it um, may What cost sort some. of price range were you looking for? I don't know how much a dress costs. Well, it depends on how flamboyant you want to go. Something with more um, flair. More pleats, more flair would be more money as it requires more time to make different materials like if you're going for chiffon that is very difficult material to work with so it's going to take a lot more time to work through. I point to a cocktail dress and then a ballroom dress like oh, from have here you come in to with here. Us? Have you come in with us? Yeah. All right. So while, while, while she's talking <laughs> and explaining like he's, he's, he's just sort of uh, looking looking over you taking a few notes um, you're not sure exactly what he's writing down but he's not exactly hiding the notes he's taking. He's, he's just got it in a comfortable position for him to write with his uh, 
you want something simple like this dress here, or do you want something a bit more flamboyant like this dress here? I don't know. I've never worn one. I only wear robes. So a, cu a couple of the human-looking dresses that you see that are stunning, uh, silks and other such. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, a couple of them. Of Where does silk come from in this setting? Is it only from one particular continent? Or? Uh, there, there's a couple of silks made mm. from um, plants of some description. Mm -hmm. There's also some spider silk, mm. which that are actually more cheap. expensive as well. The plant-based silk are um, still gorgeous. They're about 500 gold a piece. Mm -hmm. The spider silk ones are minimum two grand. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, dresses they're, ain't cheap. They're probably, they're, they're probably cut, cut resistant as well. Well, 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 I hope. Um, so were you looking for something that's fairly big? You're flaming retarded. No, not. He's flaming retarded. Okay. So we want something where she can have an underskirt so it's more comfortable for her. Okay. okay. It does take some getting used to when you walk. Okay. Okay. Um, is this going to be fashion, ladies and gentlemen? Is this going to be like in Stranger Things when we put Ellen in a dress? Oh my god, it's difficult for our dressmaker to manufacture. What materials are you looking for? This will greatly affect the price. Okay, so what sort of material are you looking for? I don't know. These ones can go up to 2,000. I want a peasant flesh. Okay, um, you've got... <laughs> Do you have any plans Extra for example, still that the lady can try and see what she feels for like her? Oh mm. yes, uh, there, I don't know, I've heard some range, with goblin um, skin. <laughs> probably the easiest way to, to check, rather than me going and getting some piles of fabric, nice. if you check some of the dresses and Got other clothing around, nice. see which materials you like. One what million we're going to do is we're going to go mice. to the uh, yeah. most expensive ones first. To make a skirt. <laughs> and pretend we're perusing. <laughs> And then move our way down to the cheaper options, okay. the more affordable shit. I'm like, I have mm. 70 gold. Yeah, but what have I got? <laughs> We're going to start off at Harrods and end up at Primark. <laughs> Do I, is that an L The stall, the stall down the market. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no we're not that cheap. Spend... O Oxfam. Mm. Oh, um, How much of your money are you wasting? <laughs> Someone died in it. What else do I spend my money on? <laughs> <laughs> So we're looking I need for a dress. Cheaper. Someone about died because of the dress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there, there's some fairly, fairly basic cottons that you can find. Should have should have um, the rain. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily look like a lot of the dresses yeah, tend to be made out of that material. That tends to be a lot more travelling clothes. <laughs> um, and a few of the um, sort of adventuring um, additionals. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um, most of most of the dresses, uh, based on the material, start from about three to four hundred gold. Yeah. Um, you think you could probably get a dress commission in cotton, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be it wouldn't look superbly nice. Great. Yeah. Although you, based on sort of your Ooh. time around nobles, Ooh, and things, hang on. You think you try could something. you think you could get a commission for. Um, the price, the court price, mm -hmm. um, and put it on lay by for a set amount of time and come back with more money to be able to actually buy it. I've got an idea. I don't know how well this is going to work. Depends. Scamming? <laughs> <laughs> Not scamming. I'm basically going to. The art of yoink. Shh. Fuck it. I'm gonna try and put it on my family's tab. <laughs> you never know. Oh. Maybe use my family name to get me some sway. Oh. Back at home. <laughs> Someone's no, no. putting someone put it on their family tab. Release the flying monkeys. We know where she is <laughs> now. I'll be keeping it something. Roll me mm -hmm. a history based Continue off of your charisma. Oh god, okay. So functionally swap your intelligence for charisma. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately roll it at disadvantage. Okay. It, I knew it'd be a difficult thing. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> 17. Ooh. Okay. Um, and that was the number on the higher roll. <laughs> okay, so, so he sort of gives you, gives you a look. I've heard the name, but mm -hmm. we've never actually had custom from them. 
Hmm. I so, could have sworn my mother's been here before. Well, let's set up an account. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, you can attempt a deception, which will also be a disadvantage. Mm, my deception ain't great. <laughs> uh, I mean, if no you don't hard. want to try and deceive him, it will just end up being part of the conversation. But if you actually want to attempt to deceive him into thinking that she may have been there, I'll give it a try. There's no harm in trying. Oh god. That's going to be based off of his. Um. <laughs> Five. <laughs> I swear she's been here. Just, How dare it you? It just goes in the conversation. I'm not accentuating the fact that I'm saying I could have sworn my mum could be here. It was no. We've mm. definitely never had custom from a uh, family name such as that. Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, as far as I'm aware, we haven't had uh, any Harmonts uh, through the district in some time. Mm. She must have gone somewhere else. My fault, sorry. I could have sworn she came here before. Mm. So okay. I walk towards those two. Mm-hmm. But now, I just had a random idea. I'm not sure if some of you guys would go for it, but obviously her name's got a bit of weight behind it. What if you were to set up like a, a referral system? She refers people towards you to, you know, buy and try your wares, and she gets commission for all the people that she sends to you. You're looking for a sponsorship. I guess it's kind of like that. Because I'm like... Do we get to stop wearing branding? I don't know. Stamp it on our foreheads. I don't know. <laughs> he's, got, he's got a shield. That's I mean, obviously he's got branding. Mind, <laughs> make his no, no shield. Uh, I'm afraid at this time we wouldn't require any such. Eh, it's just not uh, something I suppose to keep in mind but uh, there's currently no requirement for such um, so have you decided on a material that you are interested in? Ah, I'm looking at it so I have like three different cottons because I wasn't listening to anything else so I was looking at things okay. because these are the cottons are in my post range mm. so there's a nice red one it's like a plum colour there's a green one and a yellow one and I don't know what colour would suit my skin so I've put, I put like three I've got three dresses I'm holding and I'm like one of these three colours, but I don't know which colour would suit myself. What colour is your colour? And blue. I'd probably say the red. So we'll go... Mm, I'd imagine we'd want to get the, the colour wheel out. Material, so now, do you want contrast? Do you want complementary? I've got three. I was like, um, which colour would be better? They're going to make you one that's fitting to your skin and eyes. Yeah. I, 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 will, I will defer to you <coughs> as someone who actively actually knows a bit more about things like colour scheming. As far as I'm concerned, there's there's only different yeah. shit. There's only dark red, red, light red, you know, dark blue, blue, light blue. Okay, so um, <laughs> you, you can't mind. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's just so what I'm. Um, what colours like maroon? What, what's going to happen is they're going to make you a dress, oh, yeah. and there's the no colour that pink. they do is going to be based off um, this gentleman's. Uh, what was the word you used? Inspection. Uh, Okay. Examination. Examination. Uh, yeah, I haven't done that, have I? No, okay. he has. Oh. He's examined for colour and yeah. such. So he's going to make a dress that with a colour that suits you. Okay. Alright. Okay, so... So, um... You do appear to be something of the adventuring sort, and often you go off on long-term excursions. Um, I will be fairly blunt with yourselves. Cotton is not the nicest material for dresses. I know. My my suggestion would be to look towards one of one of the one of the base base silks. Uh, they actually make for better dresses, and they feel nicer. The lowest price that uh, one of the more common silks would go for is four hundred. If you are willing to front 100 for the creation and materials costs, mm-hmm. uh, if for whatever reason you were to not return, then we can still sell the dress on, albeit it is created for her. Mm-hmm. However, if you are likely to take some time going off to do any adventuring and are likely to come back with grander riches from your adventuring, you would then be able to afford the full price of the dress upon return. Uh, How long would you hold it? 
Uh, we we will often hold for a maximum of a year. Mm-hmm. Okay. I love what I was going to say. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, not not that I'm obviously trying to dissuade you from cotton, particularly, but it is not very nice for the dresses that we would generally create. Okay. Um, if if you'd like to uh, step into the back room with uh, one of my ladies, he sort of clicks clicks his fingers. Uh, and one of the half half elven ladies comes up and gives a, a short sort of uh, bow. Um, says she will take you uh, out and measure you. Okay. Uh, for, the, for the dress fitting. Just to make sure that the dress will fit right on you. Alright. <coughs> and uh, once we have those, okay. we will uh, we will set about <laughs> preparing everything to create the dress. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. curious, how much would a base silk shirt cost? Uh, just just a shirt. Yes. Uh, for shirts. 200 gold. Okay. I mean, if you want one fitted, again, we can do 50 gold quarter price uh, and put it on lay by. Okay. Uh, not something I can look into right now, but I was just curious. Mm. Okay. So the half half of lady takes you out back. Yeah. It's one of the. Uh, uh, and it shoots you, old yellow. Um, <laughs> yeah, she, she, she takes you into one of the changing rooms and she pulls I'm out a, a measuring tape. Which she then lets, lets go off and it just on its own starts uh, measuring the measurements, at which point she starts writing them down as it automatically does different measurements. <coughs> and she sort of. After a couple of moments of it doing, you know, bust, waist, uh, <coughs> height, yada yada, um, she, she, the uh, tape measure just floats off, she takes it down. Uh, that's everything, thank you. We have all your measurements. Mm. Um, while she's in the change room, I'm handing over 40. Okay. My friend will uh, give you the rest. <coughs> Actually, uh, certainly. Seeing them look round, seeing them spend all this time in, in the uh, tailors. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hello there. Oh, they've been in there good for yeah. the right. yes, You got hats? Hmm? Uh, we we do six. have a, a few yeah. hats available. Um, you um, you have any um, do you do any any business in conjunction with any of the blacksmiths as well? No. I'm looking for um, something special. Oh, I like to hear this. <laughs> uh, looking for a, uh, a gnomish war hat. <laughs> I can certainly, <laughs> yes. I can certainly provide an, a gnomish hat. Those are throw. Those are throwing rings. But if you want anything of the sort, you'd have to take the hat, probably to one of the armorers mm. or smiths. Mm, I'll get the rings first. Thank you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch, I'll catch later half. <laughs> yeah, we'll fit yep. Okay, so, you, um, so you've marked 40, hat. you're marking 60. I already have, yeah. Okay. Both on that. Uh, so, yeah, so you mark those off, and mm-hmm. he, he takes that. Uh, uh, name for the uh, commission. Use your name. Cassandra Harnold. I had the feet. Cats is helping me get a mm. dress. I have no right, Write it down. Uh, where, Neither am I. Where would the Sorry. best place to I was about to say the be, same thing. Uh, should no, uh, uh, lay by year be almost. Yeah, that, no, but still, that's um, very nice. With with conversation um, over the last couple of days, I've you know that um, your rooms at the Obsidian Keep at the moment are for the time useful. being a, a permanent room. All right, cool. I keep it back um, in there. It stops it drying out. Oh, so where did you say that in the first place, darling? <laughs> yes, I'm. Well, I'm sure with a with a, a noble's name, they would certainly know who I'm talking about. So that's fine. I have uh, mm. kept that commission down. One uh, one tiefling dress in such and such color. Mm-hmm. Uh, have measurements. That's fine. Um, I imagine the dress will be ready in probably two weeks' time. Mm-hmm. Um, and from today's date, uh, Octonia twenty eighth. You have one year to collect, otherwise it will be placed uh, for sale with the other dresses. Thank you. Is there anything else I can help anyone with? It's fine, we just no, need to make some clearance you. rack. Okay, <laughs> step about the shop, off we go. Yes. Have a nice day, he says as, you sort of, as you're walking out of the shop. Pleasure, and you. salutations. Okay, so yeah, dresses and things. Conditions. Is anyone else uh, looking for anything in particular then? What, what time is it? 
probably about half ten. I'm going to look for a local food stand to see what unusual food they offer in the city. There's a couple probably of something I can get on a stick. <laughs> there's a couple of them. Um, there's a couple of them that have um, some exotic uh, grilled fish. Mm, I'll try that. Okay. Um, so you come over and there's a there's a kind of crotchety looking half one, but he, he seems polite enough. He's like, uh, 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 what, what do you want? Mm. Something I've not tried before. My, my fish, please. Fish? Ah, that'd be uh, one gold for uh, two sticks. One gold? That's exotic fish, that is. Pretty exotic. Where's it from? That's exotic. I mean, I, I just paid five silver for this you know, for this belt buckle. That's, that's from the Northern Sea in Montai, that is. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> and it's actually pretty far. It is. How does it get here? Twins. No, no, no. So, swims to the city. Swims. Wash has as fishing vessels, see, and they go off fishing in all sorts of exotic places, and they bring it back preserved with the the Cargathian preservatives. Cargath? I don't know. I don't know. They 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 preserve the fish with with salts and things, and they bring it back, and uh, they get it here, and we cook it. <laughs> 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 We cook it. <coughs> and especially right now, we cook it. <laughs> oh, so is it, is it a gold for two sticks. A gold for two sticks. Mm. Water. Do it. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, a, it's a lot. And I'm here for a long time. I can't be spending all my money. But um, maybe a deal could be had. There's water. Maybe a deal could be had. Well, what kind of deal are you proposing? Mm. Uh, what's the exchange? Is it? Is it? It's oh, not. It's it's, it, don't break any <laughs> How many silver is it to a gold? Is it, is ten. It, ten. It, oh, it is ten. Ten okay. silver to a yeah. gold, ten copper mm. to a silver. Mm. <clears throat> so, three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you three silver for one stick. Uh, wrong with persuasion. Oh. Oh. Opposing with his persuasion. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Two. That's uh, that's Wanganum. No, no. One is Wanganum. Oh, one yeah. is Wanganum. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, but this this stuff this stuff's expensive to get in. I mean, yeah. I, I I can do one for the five silver, but okay, two for the two for the one gold. Then you you only live once. All right. And and he sort of this yeah. better be the worst fish ever. <laughs> he, 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 he holds up. He holds up two sticks Ooh. a bit for you. Mm. Takes a gold piece, puts it in his pouch. Mm. Okay, okay, so if it's a normal it stick for like us, is it massive? Yeah, it'd be huge for me. Yeah, I mean, like for for for, for a person, it's it's a stick that's probably about sort of elbow elbow yeah. to end of the finger mm. length. So it's, a, it's a big stick. Fish is fish is fairly sized. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Do I not want to this? You, it's like, yeah. is it? Do you want to try this? What would appear to be the entire? We're all giving it a go. Because um, it's it's there's no head on. Oh yeah. no! They, they, haven't, you know like, I mean. they haven't included the head, oh. but it's the majority of like the, the meat of the fish. Is it is it good mm. or is it is it shitty? It's it's not it's it's good, actually. Yeah. It's it's very good. Oh, um, yeah. You have you have the feeling based on the taste and the fact that you're from Casigal, uh, whoever it was that cooked it, whether it's him or someone else, you're not necessarily sure. Mm. Um, probably him because he's there with mm. the stool. But you think they probably learnt how to cook in Casigal? Because mm. it, it is oh. very good. Yeah, it it's it's definitely worth yeah. the money you've paid. And it's not like um, most other fish that you try from local waters. Mm. It has an, a fairly interesting taste to it. How the heck do they keep it so fresh and tender? Yeah. As they it yeah, we're all trying to Special preservative techniques. techniques. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got one stick for me, one stick for everyone else to yeah. have some. <laughs> so we get a quarter stick. Mm. Yeah. Quarter stick. A bit, bit of sticky. Yeah, but Is there anyone else that you want exactly to go? This tastes exactly like home. <laughs> so yeah, so, so Ceres is sort of been pottering around, keeping an eye, just making sure you guys don't get lost. Um, so yes, uh, it's a good point. Is there, is there anyone else you would like to go? Is sorry, I'm going back to posh again. Is there anyone else you would like to go? Um, are you happy around this district? Anywhere else you like to go? Mm. I need to come back to you about lunchtime, but same for me. But... Uh, what sports do you have around here? Other entertainment? Oh, ah, uh, entertainment. Yes. Um, oh well, we have this wonderful sport called blood ball. Yeah. Puppets. <coughs> I love puppets. Oh, bear baiting. Well, pu- puppet shows you, you, you tend to find the odd one spring up here or there, but it's it's usually around festival times for those. Uh, um, occasionally, if there's uh, you know more children around, someone will, will do one somewhat off the fly. Uh, um, there is there is a small 
Uh, there was a small theatre. Um, oh, they they put on shows uh, 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 usually once a week. Um, I don't believe there's another one there's no for homeless, there'll be no bum fights. three days, I think. Mm. Um, unfortunately, they, they don't get as much customers uh, as you'd imagine. Um, uh, there, there's a few uh, various things done around. Um, there, there's a... Uh, there's a, a fighting ring um, at one of the. <laughs> hmm. What's no. fighting? No, yeah, well, where, where's this? Uh, one, one of the taverns uh, has a has a legal fighting ring. Um, mm. It's it's all uh, it's all unarmed uh, or specifically uh, uh, non lethal weaponry. Um, it's. Uh, not not as not as as uh, as as popular as it once was. Uh, apparently, people were a little bit more bloodthirsty. So ah, WCF, I understand. <laughs> the 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 ring itself still sees uh, a fair number of clientele. Yeah, uh, well, I'm in. Yeah, you've already sold us. Let's go. Oh, okay. Can I borrow a gold? I'm um, sure. Just a shame you can get a puppet. <laughs> as I hand it to the fish guy and get two six for myself. Uh, they are done. Uh, yeah, so um just one for me, please. Okay, so you uh have five silver here, so you can't one the fish. So um, <laughs> spending other people's money. <laughs> so, so three really takes you level. three takes you through the teleport cycle again. Uh to one that's lined with a few more food based places and there's a tavern um that, that's just called the ring. By the um, time we've gone to the circle, I've already eaten one of my on my second. The ring. Delicious. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the tavern hey, is called The Ring. I paid for your drinks the other night. And. Uh, it's fair. You'll, you'll walk in. I suppose. You'll walk in, and there's uh, a bar on the far end of a large square arena. Um, and there's various tables and uh, seats around the edge of this, uh, this square arena. And there, there's there's a couple of people, um, what looks like a human and a, a half elf in in the ring. Just they're, they're pretty crap if you're gonna if you're gonna appraise it at all. They're just trying to beat each other up and they, they suck. Um, and there's there's um, an orc at the side outside of the ring going, roll up, roll up for the uh, squared circle. Who wants to go? Who wants to come and have a fight? I, As I, pack I will. On the back. Yeah, I'm nudging you like, go on. <laughs> Is this a match? I say, I say, I, 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 I look to our guide. Can I get some action around here? Uh, Water so, uh, hmm? If, if you mean uh, sexual in nature, this? yes. No, I want to gamble on the fight. Oh, juice, 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 juice. I, 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 um, I look at it. I, I look at it. Offended. <laughs> 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 no gambling. <laughs> yeah. No action. Right. Action. Gambling on the fight. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, there are brothels they're totally legal so I don't understand why you'd be offended um, uh, you assume my needs you, you, <laughs> you, assume, my, you, you assume my needs <laughs> yes. this is the don't only, assume my needs yes. this is the only legal fighting ring in, in the city but I can just, gamble uh, you can gamble on the fight oh, yeah. um, yeah. there, there's, there's a couple of um, there's a couple of uh, establishments that have uh, card tables um, uh, nearby but off Sorry, I, I apologise. I, I did not mean to offend. It's, it's perfectly normal. No, but I'm here. What I'm here watching fighting. What kind of action do you think I would mean when I say action? I mean action. It's okay. It's okay. Yep. What do you want from Bart? She, 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 she actually looks like ge genuinely upset that she she no, offended you. No, I smile um, at her. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way he is. Give me a half of whatever the brothels are. Whatever happy. they have. Give me. Well, the most popular one so far is whiskey, so I'm just going to grab a bar. Okay. <laughs> so you, you you step up to the orc. He says, "You want to fight, do you? Hey, you got a bit of muscle on you there. Five got loose on the new cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, going to say, so, so, yeah, what, are, what are the people like? Good? Gold. Well, right. based on the muscle, I mean, the, the two that are in the ring that you're looking at now." Looking at them, as I said, they, they're crap. They're not fighting very well at all. Uh, one gold on the shaved monkey they just put in the ring. <laughs> um, and they, and they, they, don't look, they don't look very big built. They both look kind of weedy, if you can be honest. Well, we've uh, we've been looking for someone who can uh, give one of our regulars a bit of a fighting chance. Most of the most of the <laughs> chaff have been fairly uh, fairly rubbish of late, to be honest. Uh, it's barely worth the time. 
Right. Mm. Right. Where is he this time of day? I also put so a, you're sitting next ooh. to me. I also put a gold on him and I'm going to from the bar. Sax, yeah, Sax chain drinks and then... Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I literally just got ah, fighting. Yes, let's go. We sat down and we're like, yeah, Carson. Yeah. I flick a gold over to you. <coughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, put, I'm putting a gold Ooh, on. I'm putting a gold you? on him. Uh, what, yeah, what are we doing? We're betting. What are we betting for? We're betting that he will be able to beat whoever he's fighting in in the ring. So he'll win the fight. Oh. But I've only ever seen a demonstration of him being beaten by people. Why would I bet that he can win? But that was against the best. That's true. That guy's probably the rest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a slang thing. This is what it goes. So oh, yeah, I'm in for a pretty decent chance. You can put money on either side. Just comes in. Right. Right. Whoever so, you believe he, he, will win the fight. He, he, he calls over and goes, uh, I'll put a gold on right. see who the opponent is. Someone right. find me Grax! Who's that? Oh, it's gonna be like, so he, 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 I leave oh. him from the table. <clears throat> so he doesn't actually hear you from where you're sat. Oh. Um, there's, there's a little bit of hustle. It's gonna be one of those half giant people, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Someone find me, Grax! Oh, mm, sounds powerful. So I'm holding, and, I'm holding my coin, waiting. And one of the one of the um, the ladies who's sort of wandering around with a couple of drinks and taking orders, uh, she says, "Oh, right away." Uh, she's she's half elven, and she she goes up to the bar, puts down her tray and the, the empty she's got. And she runs off up the side stairs um, around the back, uh, and a few minutes go past, and the and the uh, the orc there at the side of her is going, right, we got a fight for you now. We've got a newcomer here with his big muscles, uh, human by the looks of him. He's going to fight Grax. And there's, there's 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 a bit of a stir. A few people look interested, and there's a few more betters coming up. Um, they sort of they sort of look him up and down, and they make some bets for or against. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm looking pretty confident at the moment. Until the opponent walks in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, until no, they bring no, in the crate no, with the opponent. It's going to be I'm though, s- sat there with mm. the stick from the, you know, fish, picking the fish out my teeth. Yeah. So, what were you going to say? Oh, I want to know who the opponent is because these two put a cold on Carson to win. We were talking about how betting works, and I thought I will not put any money down until I've seen the opponent. So I'm holding my gold, waiting to see who it is. See, that's smart. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, we've already got better odds because we haven't seen the. Uh... <laughs> so after about five minutes, um, the the um, half elf uh, tavern girl sort of scurries back down the stairs, and from from behind her, there is a fairly chunky set of legs coming down from the stairs, mm-hmm. ah, and crap. Um, you know. Mus- muscled but toned, um, and as as he as he steps down, you see a couple of clawed hands that are blue. Steps down a bit further, and you see a muscular, uh, scaled blue dragonborn. Okay. <laughs> I go put my money up and go. I bet on the blue man. <laughs> <laughs> so us three have put One the gold on you. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I down my uh, I look at you down my whiskey. So, well what fuck. how much is everyone betting? One, one, one gold. gold. We're all betting in one gold. One, yes. Okay, so one one each. Each. On the new So so the odds are three to one, so if you win you get three gold. Yay. Um What are my odds? Uh your odds are only two to one. Because oh. he's more likely to win. They reckon. That's how betting um, works. It's on odds. Well, you know, he's, oh. he's probably the reigning champion. Potentially okay. has been the less, for a while. The less likely, no one said the, more the, money, champion. the more money no, you, um, but that's you are set to gain. Like but the less likely that can happen. But then surely you should bet on the outcome that's most likely to happen. Ah, but, but sometimes the most likely outcome isn't the outcome that happens. Because they may. <coughs> the reason Sorry. that he's at lower odds is because they've never seen him fight. Odds are done on probability, not so certainty. So the orc, the, orc, the orc steps across you. Right. Let's right. have the fun. So you know the rules. Because I haven't Stop seen you before. Mm-hmm. No magic. No weird abilities. Oh. Fists and non lethal weapons only. You're not allowed to kill. Uh, and depends on the rule set that Grey Axe is going to want. Because. Pre- pre- previous, you know, regulars get choice. Uh, rule sets can be first blood, to drink water, have uh, yes. or unconscious. Take it. Right. Mm. Or anything in between, really. It depends on what he wants. But uh, are you comfortable with this? 
Yeah. So none of the elemental stuff. I know. Yeah, what? Mm. There'd be, there be no weird magics. Don't worry. You know, I'm honourable enough. <laughs> not not that we particularly want to out but yeah, but that's the rules that's been set by the city. Not that. No, don't no, don't worry. That's always gonna win. <clears throat> yeah, that, but yes, I <laughs> so this this big this big blue dragonborn sort of steps over. Better be good. The last four fights have been boring. He's beautiful. Well, he's a newcomer, so it could be interesting. Mm. Uh, he, he stops, looks you up and down, and goes. Well then. What would you prefer, newcomer? No. To the blood or to the unconscious? Hmm. How about dinner and a few drinks? <laughs> how, about, no, no, how about to the unconscious? Ooh. To the pain. That'd be first That's break. how you like it. Kick his and ass. then York goes, his Wonderful! Ass. We've got a fight to the unconscious! Very big cheer, and um, everyone's like, "Oh, okay, 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 okay." You have a feeling a lot of the people that have been fighting recently are probably pussies and only fighting to blood. Okay, okay, okay. Smash! So I used to go to the fighting. Yeah, I went on the with the trainers. We used to go to we used to watch fights as well. But normally, this is my first one. I'm excited. So it's weird with more rustic affairs in the normally. On the, on, so, we don't just get some space in the front of the bar. You step into the, mm. the square area. Um, and Greyak steps in as well. At which point, the orc says, Right! Last bets! Last bets! Are they, so, it looks are they, like like a, are they, are they like in a little arena or cage in the middle of a bar? Or is it a, how, how is this? Um, so it's. it's um, there is sort of a, a rope around the edge. Yeah. So let's do a WWE ring. Other wrestling promotions kind, are available. Kind of like a wrestling ring, almost. Yeah, it's not raised or anything, but it, it's ground level. Cool. Um, but it's it's, it's, not, it's not sprung floor. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got some ropes to keep people from sort of falling out easily. Um, a couple of the tables are in slightly raised positions to see a bit better. You've managed to get one of the ones slightly raised. Yeah. Um, Remember, if your fighter loses, you need to throw your drink in disgust. So, <laughs> in, in at tradition, at the winning fighters. <laughs> You will touch knuckles and come out fight. That's, that's what we used to do. <laughs> Wrong initiative. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna take that as a wrong dick. Oh fuck! <laughs> I would do that meat draw to throw my tickets in disgust if I don't win anything at the yeah. end. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I think he's going first. What did you get? I did Four. Oh shit! You got Twenty-one. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. 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 So yeah. Organizer. So oh, the two, shit. the two of you steps in the middle of the ring. He, he holds up his fists. You hold up yours, mm-hmm. and he bumps you. And as as, as he does that. He immediately thrusts forward and smacks you square in the face. Oh, oh it's gonna be that kind of fight. Anyway. Yeah, let's see. If it... Is that does a seventeen hit you? Yes. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Uh, and, and he hits you for four points of damage. I will boo loudly. I was going to say. Boo. Is there a lot of noise going? Woo. Um, it's 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 a little bit louder than when you came in. Like you you can hear sort of the shouting and everything. Come on, Carson! <laughs> it's only just started. As I shout very, very loudly in attempt to try and distract the guy to give him advantage. Okay, so with, <laughs> the, with the amount of noise in here, you don't think I didn't think it would work, but it was worth a try. And technically, you do need to be within five feet to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, literally up behind him. <laughs> cool. We can't do no, um, so he, yeah, so he just punched me. So, yeah, so, so, so he's touched knuckles and then smacked you square in the face. So mm, yeah. okay. I'm going to punch it back. <laughs> the author did say touch knuckles and come out fighting. Mm-hmm. Woo. Oh, oh, what did you roll? We're going to lose our money, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does a seven hit him? No. Did you roll a one? No, you rolled no. a three. Three. Uh, if it, a one wouldn't even you fall over. But, um, well, it depends. You rolled the gold. We're not going to win. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, that's gonna miss, but I can still use a bonus action to get Woo! another attack. <laughs> okay. Go so it. I'm gonna sail past him. You know, um, it's like fuck. distraction. You know, um, you know, but then Don't because he's focused, focused slightly on my fist, I'm gonna you know come in with a knee. <laughs> okay, go for it. Or at least attempt to. Or is that dice. back fell with someone? Mm. Yeah. That's going. better. Eighteen. Eighteen does hit. Roll damage. Yeah. Woo! Knees five. Mm-hmm. Five damage. Five. Damage. So, 
Okay, so you, you, you knee him, you catch him in the side. Uh, at which at which point uh, he's going to swing. <laughs> he's going to swing back. <laughs> oh fuck! Twenty one to hit. Yes. So as 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 you need him and you're bringing your arm back, he lean, he leans in and he punches oh, you straight in the shoulder. Oh. Uh, and he catches you um, with a fairly fairly solid hit for ooh six points of damage. In the chest. Uh, no, so as he he swung and missed with his fist, and then he went with the knee, and as he was bringing his arm back. He hit him and went smack straight in the shoulder. Yeah. So he's gone bang, oh, smash. And, he, and he's almost like he's trying to pressure point without actually pressure pointing. Cool. Um, oh, one thing you know, one thing that's annoying me is like no weird abilities. You know, you know, flurry of blows, the key counts a weird ability. I don't think so. Yeah. <sighs> I was just saying so. At which point, Jorga? Yeah, it's like, hmm. You know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll toy, toy with them a little bit more. You know. <laughs> I'll toy with him a little yeah, it's like, oh. yeah, it's like that. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm coming from, yeah, coming for another punch with the other hand. So yeah, go yeah, go with the left. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's left himself open a little bit. Uh, has he? Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen hits. Yeah. <laughs> Five damage again. Oh, okay. Um, and then bonus action to come yeah, come in you know with another one to the right. <laughs> okay. What's it? Uh, you're, you're rolling well, but yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Ooh, 14? Uh, 14 does not hit. Ah! Oh, so no. the, the, the second one, he almost ducks, and your fist sort of sails, sails over. At which point? 15 to hit you? Um, yes. Okay, so as, as, as he ducks, he just springs and actually nuts you in the chin. <laughs> oh. uh, for three points of damage. How you doing? Then he's going to use a bonus off. action as well. Oh, there yeah, right. he's, well, he's either a fighter or you know monk or something. Fifteen similar. to hit again. Yeah. <laughs> so he comes up, springs up, and knocks you in the chin. At which point he then follows through with the elbow also to the chin. Oh. Have you got glass jaw? Uh, six points of damage. Oh. oh. Okay. Woo. Okay. Now are you going to try your flurry? Uh, yeah, I thought we we're going to have to. <laughs> And he's, he's, he's sort of sort of there. Uh, hmm. You're you're okay. Because the way that I want it, you know, I want it to look cool. Because he's obviously nutted me and then followed through with an elbow, which is largely going to lift me up off the ground. So yeah, he sort of knocks you back a little bit. You're still stood where you are, but he's just seriously made you go you twice, Whoa. like n- nearly biting your tongue type strike. How rude. Um, I want to try, you know, you want to try and do a bit of, you know, acrobatics, you know, um, okay, you know, to, you know, effectively, um, what's, oh, what do they call it? Like basically bicycle kick. Oh, you know, yeah. You know, you know. Kick or bicycle kick. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so you're going for a jump to just kick him twice or? Yeah. Um, well, technically it would be, you know, this would end up being three attacks, but I'm trying to think how that would work. If you're if you're doing flurry of blows, mm. um, we'll roll the acrobatics and we'll see what that is first. Yeah, and we'll go based on that. Thirteen. So okay, yeah. So you you can basically do it, which is just three unarmed strikes, pretty much. <clears throat> yeah. So we'll start. Yeah, start off. You know, with you know, with a boot. You know, oh. uh, boot to the chin. Uh, I just oh. had a thought. Right. Ooh. Do a backflip, kick him with both feet, and then as you as you land, punch him in the gut. Mm. That works. Mm. Where did Dragon Ball drop their testicles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad idea. So it's so it'll be smack, testies smack, is, oh, poof. <laughs> testes is a no go zone. Let's see if they actually well, follow the yeah, 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 so no, yeah, no, 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 Not if it's a hits. sport. If it's survival, that's a different thing. Yeah. My dick. Uh, <laughs> 13 <laughs> won't do it. Nope. Roll your next to hit. Uh, 19 will. 19 will. Um, and then roll your last to hit. Ah, oh, 9 won't. So okay. one of them hits. So you yes, you jump up and backflip. Your first your first foot just swings a little bit past as he moves sideways. Foot goes back. I didn't realise the other foot. At which was point? Up. Yeah, the the the, sec- the second foot catches catches him. Um, sort of chest, I guess. Um, roll damage. Five damage. I'm really consistent with this. <laughs> Apparently. Um, at, which, at, at which point you, you sort of land, but. Having done the backflip and then going in for the for the third attack, he's got more than enough time, and he just sort of blocks blocks your fist across. Nuh-uh. At which point he's going to swing back. Seventeen to hit. Yes. 
So he, he, he blocks and then he just swings that arm back up and forearms across the side of the head. Yowch. Six damage. Ow. How bad you doing? Uh, I'm looking pretty packaged. <laughs> and then he's going to strike again. 18 to hit. Yes. Um, at which point he full on sp- Barton kicks you in the chest. Um, can you physically do less than two points of damage? No. Then I fall unconscious. Yay! So with so with that with that last one, he, he literally just he takes you off the side of the head there, just goes straight in the chest, knocking you to the ground. Okay, minus one gold. Well, I'm going to rip my betting slip and throw it into the ring. Yeah. Oh. Disgust. So you got a couple of people do. So uh, the, the, the better better sort of giving out some money. Uh, uh, go axe. He, he, he hands you two gold. Grax! And it's sort of almost routine. He barely gives you sort of a, a yeah. moment's thought. That was fun! Yeah! That was Grax fun. is a winner! Can't say too many people are surprised, but it was a good fight! Certainly more interesting than we've had hey, in hey, recent hey, days. Hey. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shit. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so. Uh, uh, after, after, after flat belting you, Grax takes a moment. Um, and Cringes. you don't obviously see this because you're unconscious. <laughs> uh, and, and, he, and he steps to the side of the ring, uh, grabs grabs a towel that's down there, puts it around his neck, um, and also also picks up a, a small bottle, walks over to you, um, jams your jams your head up, so pops it, him. puts it down, thing, uh, and you get back ten hit points. Woo! Nice. Uh, so that would have taken me down to minus whatever. No, nope. you you automatically go to zero, oh, and it's just flat, isn't it? His would be lethal, mm-hmm. but because he's able to control his alarm ability, mm-hmm. um, whenever whenever you get to dying, you only hit zero, uh, but okay. you hit the dying state if you're dying. But you weren't in the dying state; you were just unconscious. Mm. Yes, because this is not a this is not a fight to the death. You yeah, are not they, the fuck out. No, yeah, they, that's they fine. have to the unconscious. They do not have to the death. They are not allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so you can you see that. So you are on ten hit points, <laughs> and you sort of you sort of come to because <coughs> you have liquid just watch it go. <coughs> and <coughs> at this point, you sort of stood back up. So they're towering over you. He offers you his hand. Yeah, so yeah, I'll grab it. <laughs> he, put, he pulls you back up. He claps you on the shoulder. and Goes. You fought well for a newbie. No, it's not that. Come Thank back you. when you back more practice. Yeah. Don't worry. Right, everyone's well, clapping and I'm just looking like... <laughs> yeah. at, at, which, at which point he, he steps out of the ring drink. Um, and starts heading off back towards the stage he came out with. What a guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> so, yeah. So you, uh, good try, Garson. Yeah, I was like, ah, oh, well. Not that kid. Thought I might try my luck. Just out of curiosity, happened, you know, did he look like you know, he was fairly packed or not? Roll a heal. <laughs> or a medicine. Uh, yeah, you can, you, can, you can roll. Yeah, you can roll a, a medicine. Ah, cool. No, no, no. Oh, actually, no, because this is on a person kind of more for. Do insight for this. Ah, I'm trained in that. Ooh, twenty-three. Sorry, twenty-two. <laughs> so you you could see you could see a couple of the points uh, that you you hit him where there's a um, bit, bit of a welt, a um, little bit little bit of blood. So obviously you've got a bit of blood uh, as well, but again, nothing like life threatening. Um, but you you think you got him down to nearly half. It's like ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I can't remember how many times I hit him, but still. <laughs> you look pretty tough, bud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah, he was a big opponent, but still. Challenge, yeah, challenge of the fight. Well, that's it was fine. good. Mm-hmm. It was good. Very beneficial toward me. I like betting. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, maybe, bet against you. Yeah, it's like, well, to be fair, I wasn't, ex- you know, I wasn't expecting, you know, you know, as su- you know, such a big, you know, big fighter. So I went a little easy on him at first. I slide a whiskey over to you. Ah, thank I you. always have orange juice. Don't drink too much. So, um, after Don't your worry. mind you the one pouring the was finishing giving out the gold, <laughs> and he walks over to you after he sort of finished. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah you got your gold. Um, and he says, that was a good fight. Come back again. Mm-hmm. So certainly bring in a good crowd if you fight like that again. Mm-hmm. Well, certainly. When, yeah, um, is it every night? Or? Pretty much. All right, then. I'll be sure to come back when I'm not, you know, not training at the, um, at the keep. Well, then. 
Um, but yeah, come back. I'm fight. I don't care where you train. Just fight. <laughs> Which point he sort of wanders off. Um, goes and grabs a drink. Does some other bits and pieces. A couple more people have stepped into the ring at this point, but no one seems to give a shit. Mm. Yeah, they're just like, oh, that's just that. It, it's ah, uh, uh, what was it? What do they call it? Um, like you know, in, I think it's in China or you know, when they have the filler, the filler fights. Yeah, yeah. You know, the ones which are meant to look real, but they're not. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this this is a couple of humans who have stepped in, but they don't look particularly big or interesting people. Mm. Um, but yeah, so by 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 the sort of time after a bit of time goes by. Probably about half eleven. Well, head back to the castle. Um, oh, we know the phone. Yeah, we need to head back to the uh, jewelry store. Jewelry stand. But if you want to head back to the castle, go ahead. You don't have to yeah. come with us. Yeah, I'll head back. <laughs> Are you guys heading back or? Uh, well, there's uh, nothing I'm else in particular I'm not going to look yeah. out for, so uh, I'll head back. I'll stick with. I'll stick with. I'll stick with the group. Okay. okay. Yeah. Did you want to go back and read some more? No, I need fresh air occasionally. My previous teacher told me so, so I will stay out. <laughs> so Cerise so, 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 is smiling, having enjoyed the fight a little bit, you know. Um, she sort of says, well, um, if, if you're wanting to head back to the castle soon, um, once we've been back to the, to the jewellers for your requests, um, we could probably get back to the castle for around 12? Half, half 12? Perfect. Okay. Just mm-hmm. half a lunch. Um, hmm. Where would be the best place to find books? Because I know someone would probably um, be interested. Uh, certainly not around a lot of the, the shopping areas. A lot of the Surely books, the Royal Library's got enough books. Oh here. no, I have Books tend to go towards the, the, the library area, and there's a couple of bookshops around the library as well, but mm. they, they don't tend to sell a lot of books other places. It's, it's okay. I have at some point, I'm going to go meet some historians, and we're going to have a chat, and they're going to give me some books. Okay. Very interesting. Oh, yeah, it sounds like you made some potential friends there. Yeah. Inform- information. Yes. Fair enough. <laughs> so, 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 you back to the yeah. to the jewelers. The the half half uh, half half ladies there. Uh, 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 hello again. Um, hello. Uh, my my jewelers just uh, just uh, down the road, just grabbing a couple of bits of food. Um, uh, th- there he is now. So, a uh, half elven man comes along, um, and he sort of uh, gives a bit of a cuddle, kiss on the cheek. Aww. That's really, um, he says, yes, um, so he's, uh, well, he's uh, able to, he's able to make, make those uh, requests that you each had. Um, oh, he would need to see your, uh, your yes, ring to as make I a, a take design it off of it. My necklace. Um, how much would it cost to make two earrings with this design? Uh, for that as a custom order, that would be five gold for the pair. Mm-hmm. Um, for yours, it would be uh, two gold. Okay. Uh, total for the lot. That's totally reasonable for me. Um, uh, and, and, and again, with sort of the design idea, I believe he's he's uh, knocked a little bit off because it's, it's potentially a marketable design. Um, if it does seem that interesting, um, yeah, so I hand over my signet ring. So so the the, the half comes along and goes, oh yeah, sorry, yeah. So put puts his puts his fish stick down, um, and sort of has a look at it and pull, pulls out a small pad um, and sits down on a little sort of uh, stool that's there. And uh, has a has a bit of uh, charcoal and makes a fairly good uh, imaging yeah. object. Yeah. Um, and then he, he he takes another bit of the uh, sort of page mm. and almost rub, does a rubbing of it as well, mm. just to get some other some other definition to it. So it should be fine. Um, and the the half other lady says, "Yeah, sorry, my, my husband's not really much of a talker. So that's why I do all the selling." Um, but yes. Um, he, he, he says that'll probably take the better part of three days uh, just to just to get all the bits and pieces done for those. Um, maybe a bit of time in case there's any issues with the designs and and so you, you know trial and error if necessary. Gosh. New designs and all. Well, um, if he needs to see it again, uh, just let me know. We'll be up at the keep. That, that's fine. He, he should be okay. Um, at the Obsidian Keep. Yes. I'll be right now. Oh oh well. Um, who would we ask for if we needed um, to? Well, for me, it's Cassandra. Uh, Cassandra. Mm-hmm. Is there a, a last name? Harmont. Harmont. Okay. Um, I should sort of write it down. Um, I, I don't imagine there should be too many uh, issues. Uh, sorry, and your Zach your Hawkins. Yeah, again, she writes down. I, I don't imagine there should be too too many issues. Um, again, it's more just uh, he might have a couple of trial pieces before a final piece. Mm-hmm. Um, r- rest rest assured, um, family. Uh, 
family crests and such don't get put to, to general market mm -hmm. and yours being a general design again as I said he's not a little bit off because it's a design he may use um, I, I think it might appeal to some people <laughs> no of course that's uh, just not the way I did it um, but yes uh, if you were to come back in uh, three days time uh, I'm sure he'll have those ready for you thank, thank you, you. just don't get him to start walking back yeah, yeah. so, so, so sort of gives, again gives you a cheery wave again um, and uh, Cerise then leads you back to the transport circles and back across to the council. Okay. How do we all get the transport circle? I, I was very striking up a casual conversation, but I'm just a casual person. <laughs> so I'm like, Hoff, hmm. has a gnome, you grew up in a gnome, in gnome in, what's the correct term for a collection of gnomes? Well, I mean, I grew up on a farm oh, okay. and um, I, I, you know, I spent a lot of my early life in Castlegore, which wasn't just gnomes. Oh, so did you not spend a lot of time in the Nomen Nomen well, community? Yes, I did. If there was another lady gnome that mm -hmm. we liked, oh, how no. would you tell them? Stop making me laugh. <laughs> how would you tell them that you liked them, like you were interested in courting them? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'd have, um, I'd, I'd, I'd go off, offer them a gift and... Um, and 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 uh, you show me interest that way. And, uh, well, I mean, that's not what happened. My sister, my um, my my sister had a, had an introduction arranged for her by my parents to uh, to a successful goat farmer. But uh, that's another story. Oh, I've heard of arranged marriages. Was it like that? Uh, not so much arranged, more encouraged. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Heavily advised. I was expecting to say something like, "Oh, I put on my shiniest, tallest hat." <laughs> Not so much. Or get, or get my marriage sack. Look at the marriage sack. I could have. I would legit believe you if that's what you were told. Just a me. burlap sack with wife <laughs> written over it. <laughs> but you know, generally, you know, the fam the family had in mind someone that you were going to marry. Okay. Okay. Now you're very quiet as I'm like walking, like. Hmm. Yeah. Whereas, like, just imagine you and me were kind of family, like grinning to each other. <laughs> cool. So, a little bit more idle conversation sort of strikes up as you're uh, heading off. And you get back to the castle and um, you head across to where the dining hall is. And uh, Lysander, Sire, and Gartak are already there. Um, so, they sign up Avelia and Lord Torbrooks and the castle hands again. Um, what, when you guys all sit down to, to start eating as well, um, Lysander says, mm, Sorry, apologies. Um, we have a few bits for you, um, based on some of the uh, things going on, um, and he sort of pulls out a, a bag of things. So you each get the things that I said as uh, things, you get obviously your, your potions, your scroll, yep. um, and he also there is also an additional potion bottle, which uh, is marked P-O-I inside of the bottle. Um, and, 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 he, and he says, says to you, uh, this is a, a potion of invulnerability. Um, so... Mm. Invulnerability is there anything in particular? Uh, for, for, for a time, it, it makes you more resistant to, to damage. Uh, again, it's only one use of it. Um, for stats-wise, it is one minute after being drunk, resistance to all damage. Mm. Um, no, no, don't put it on your character sheet. That is mm. not one each. That's no, one. The There's one of Oh, <laughs> oh okay. One so we'll, so we'll, 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 give it, we'll give it to the tank and then send them in. I've got it on our group sheet. Mm. Yeah, so that's one potion of invulnerability. <laughs> give it to the tank. <laughs> not one each. He, he then okay. sort of uh, roots around and goes, ah, oh, there it is. And there's this thing. <laughs> Which is why I laughed earlier. What was it, sorry? The tentacle rod. Tentacle rod. Uh, tentacle rod. This rod is a magic weapon that ends in three rubbery tentacles. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> While holding the rod, you can use an action to direct each tentacle to attack a creature you can see within 15 feet of you. Oh, oh god. Each tentacle makes an attack a melee attack roll with a plus nine bonus. On a hit, the tentacle deals 1d6 bludgeoning damage. If you hit a target with all three tentacles, it must make a DC 15 constitution saving throw. On a failure, the creature's speed is halved, has disadvantage on deck saving throws, 
and it can't use reactions for a minute. And it's traumatised. <laughs> <That's laughs> moreover, moreover, on each of its turns, it can take either an action or a bonus action, but not both. At the end of each of its turns, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect itself uh, on itself on a success. That's why I went up to earlier when you guys picked numbers. It's hentai on a stick. Because you, you got a tentacle rod. And so yeah, so, oh, so cool. to, to, to you guys, there is a tentacle rod and a potion of invulnerability. For reference, the tentacle rod does require attunement. Mm. Is that 24 hours in fifth? Uh, no, so it takes, uh, it takes a short rest to attune to something in this regard. Um, just because it's easier most of the time. What weapon does it class as? Uh, it is a rod. <laughs> so, no, it's, is it a simple weapon, a martial weapon? Doesn't matter. Um, the way it makes the attacks is it uh, it makes a melee attack roll with a plus nine bonus. It doesn't use your attack rolls or proficiencies. Uh-oh. So it literally. No, I was just checking to see if yeah, there yeah. was certain people that could and or couldn't. Yeah, use yeah, it yeah. Uh, is it a martial weapon or something? No, because because it's a specific magic magic item. It runs off its own. So that uh, so they th- it's a th- it's a thought activated tentacle. <laughs> But you, you, my you still use your action to do it. Um, no. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. the picture. Feel free to hold it up to the camera. Yeah, so oh, they're yeah. actually tentacles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. You can do it flat out. It is. It is a. It is a tentacle rod. It is three tentacles on a stick. <laughs> that how this is. And the, the, the tentacles wow. have f- fifteen feet reach. 15, fit, 15 foot reach. 15 foot reach, yeah. 15 so, foot Flat out. So, Lysander has given us these things, right? Yeah. Okay. That I looks give weird. Him, wait, I give him a box back. Found this in the market. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Well, uh, I appreciate that. So, uh, opens up the box. It's the one of the silver wolf. Oh, uh, thank you very much. It's very thoughtful. Um, as, as I'm sad, I'm really trying not to snigger. <laughs> He sort of closes it up and says, I'll, I'll save that for a special occasion. Okay. Uh, sort of uh, puts it away in his, uh, one of his pockets. As I look at him, thinking about the conversation we had the other night, and I'm like... <laughs> I mean, he just got us to... <laughs> yeah. Well, I already asked him. I just haven't had the heart to be able to tell her. But yeah, um, I didn't want to burst her bubble. <laughs> yeah, so... Lunch goes by, uh, and based on the time, the the rest of the day goes by. Sort of you guys almost taking sort of day out from the trainings and things. Um, if there's anything in particular anyone wants to do, we can talk about it. If it's <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll groom my dog and then uh, and then go to bed. <clears throat> yeah, that, that's fine. Your, your day sort of largely go away. Um, I'm, I'm interesting. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it's um, time to give my body a slight rest. <laughs> Get, and, and get ready, yes, and get ready for some for some crossbow practice in the morning. Maybe I'll go to the shooting way and know that this time I'll get shot for doing that. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to leave it there at the end of the twenty eighth of October. <clears throat> uh, and next time we will probably forward through a few more days mm-hmm. before uh, getting on with the next steps. Ooh. So there we go, guys. So that's it. that's the end of another session. Yeah. Um. So obviously, join us again next week. We'll we will continue. Um. You know, well, the potentially even more exciting things. <clears throat> um. So we'll see. <laughs> what more sh- exciting than shopping? <laughs> fish on a stick. And fish on a stick. I mean, there was a fight. You got into a fight. I want a horse that farts lasers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to fire gun. Um, so yeah, so join us next week. We'll continue from where, now where we left off. Um, but also join me and Cassus on Saturday, where we begin another okay. game. A new game. <laughs> yes, things we have, fi- we have finished the Mass Effect trilogy now. Mm-hmm. Um, what about the fourth one? There is no fourth one. He said trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Indiana Jones. Yes. Only oh, speaking of Indiana Jones. There's going to be a fifth one. Boom. Anyway, carrying on from your delusion. Tangent. <laughs> tangent. In the other nose and the tangent of the butt. So, um, yeah. So, obviously, join me and Kansas on tap day if you can. Otherwise, join us next week. So, thank you very much again, guys. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.